Yeah, hello teachers and good afternoon. Maganda maganda hapon po and welcome to our Saturday live stream no. So maraming thank you. Thank you again no. Ah uh, kasi kahit uh, sobrang busy tayo, sobrang dami nating ginagawa na may kanina may uh, may nakita ako mga posts about uh, teachers um, starting to plan already no and preparation for the next school year kasi alam ko, if I'm not mistaken no, August 1 is the Brigada Escuela. Um ano no, um start of the Brigada Escuela no yung pag um pag ano natin no paghahanda no at paglilikom pag ano ng mga funds kay uh, pag pagkuha ng mga resources pag prepare ng mga classroom etc no ang dami na namang kakaharapin ng mga teachers natin okay pero okay um ano muna tayo relax muna tayo teachers no okay and let's uh, once again uh, join uh, our session for today. Uh, and please, no, sabi nga ni Teacher Alan Brutas, okay, shout out to Teacher Alan Brutas, no, please do subscribe and please do uh, ano, no, um, share our link for today. No, teachers, okay, we're just 1.3, if I'm not mistaken, no, 1.3 thousand away na lang no, to our 100k subscribers or our silver play button. So magkakaroon na po ng silver play button ang ating community. So sobrang lapit na po no. So we're, we're almost there no and um we're getting to that destination. Anyway, that's just a bonus because uh, regardless kung meron tayong silver play button or wala no, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang mga learning sessions natin uh, here at KTS. And speaking of which no, para sa ating mga community members na talaga namang walang sawang sumusuporta sa ating community, let me first greet our teachers in the chat before we start our session for today, Kim, I'd like to greet our uh, our, our first um, comer at 12.17 p.m. Good afternoon to Teacher Maximilian Sorbito, Teacher Arlene Alberto, Teacher Jeline Blit Estrella, Teacher Alan Brutas, Teacher Gemma Rivera, Teacher Dory Edulag, Teacher Jesus Junior Katangi, Teacher Carlo Bagayawa, Teacher Ru Ru Ruby Jean Mustiero, Teacher RM Ana Lizel, na Teacher Clyde Busostros. Kailan kaya absent ito si Teacher Ana, no Teacher RM Ana Lizel? No? I'm I'm really curious kasi parang never pa yatang umabsent si Teacher RM Ana sa mga sessions natin. Anyway, Teacher Maria Ana Fe Sumalinog, Teacher Galski Kache, Teacher Kevin um Hurada, Teacher Mary Grace Castillo, Teacher Alex Xavier Alvarez, Teacher Cesario Ponce Jr., Teacher Marvin Francisco, Teacher Bonnie Mila, Teacher Regina Rose Regidor, Teacher Mary Ann Pacheco, Teacher Lorena Villena, Teacher Janet B. Recalde, Sweetie Pie, sana all my Sweetie Pie, Teacher Maria Linda Havla, Teacher Rosemary Mata, Teacher Telma Valdez, Teacher Esther Edralin, Teacher Ethelyn Verdadero, Teacher Esther, okay, okay, teacher Beverly, Joy, Kuahao, teacher Ethelyn, yun na, nag-greet ko na rin, ha? ayan, may mga nagkita pa dito sa live stream natin ngayon ng mga co-teachers ngayon, ano? okay, anyway, para sa mga hindi po namin nag-greet, magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat, no, and welcome to our live stream for today, okay, ngayon teachers, um, bago siguro tayo mag, ano, no, bago siguro tayo mag, magpatuloy, okay, I'd like, I'd, just like to um to ano no break some good news no uh, for all of you no yeah hindi gundi bad news yung i-break natin no good news no so unang una is that dahil ongoing yung ating fundraising so far out of the um, um, target natin na 50,000 we're already at 30,000 uh, cash donation. So, meron na po tayong funds, no? And aside from that, okay, we actually received, no, from a company, a pharmaceutical company, um, um, name ba, no, no? Um, Pascual Lab, okay? Donated 1,008 boxes of Potency 100s. And, and tinignan ko yung price teachers, no? Itong Potency 100s, it's around 500 to 550. So, basically, Pascual Lab donated a total amount of 50,000 worth of um of ano, no, of vitamins okay, for our teachers no and just to also let everyone no who are here uh, para lang alam nyo po no kung paano at saan mapupunta yon okay ang gagawin kasi namin teachers no is that we're going to create what we call hybrid start uh, start kit okay we're in uh, magagawa kami ng mga boxes okay and we will fill it with necessary materials such as thermal scanner uh, thermometer uh, face mask, okay? um, alcohol dispenser, including the vitamins. No, and actually, we're looking for more um, items. No, to include in that hybrid start kit. Okay, para lahat ng mga school, 
hindi naman lahat no pero some schools they will have that those items no so we're looking that each box no will actually be worth 5000 to 10000 pesos no for each of the schools will be sending so abangan po natin no sa ating um, uh, kaagapay teacher support page kay kung paano po tayo magiging beneficiary nitong hybrid start kit na na pinaprepare po namin okay and again zero expenses walang babayaran sa delivery walang babayaran sa anything okay everything will actually be uh, paid no by kaagapay teacher support. Okay, yan po yung uh, uh, simbolo no, ng pagmamahal namin sa inyong lahat, teachers. And teachers, habang tumatagal kami, no, I just also like to inform you na habang tumatagal yung ating fundraising for the Brigada Escuela Drive, mas dumadami po yung nagdo-donate. So we're going to expect more and more items and more and more schools, okay, who's going to benefit um, in this uh, Brigada Escuela. Okay? So yan, teachers. Um, Abangan po natin no, sa ating uh, Kaagapay Teacher Support page. Okay? Anyway, okay, let us now proceed to our session for today. Okay? Um, and this will be our last. No? This is our last session for July. Okay? So abangan natin sa Monday yung mga bago nating ilalabas ng na mga episodes for Thursdays and sa uh, in August. But of course, sure na kagad, no, meron tayong three-day CPD event with Microsoft no, on 29, 30, and 31. Okay? But first, Tapusin mo natin July with a bang with this um, complete walkthrough of Google Sites. No, bakit ko ito hinule teachers? It's because this is one of my most favorite okay? uh, tools from the Google Workspace system. Ito talaga yung pinaka gusto ko. Okay, uh, medyo bias talaga ako na pagdating sa Google Sites. Okay, so let me share with you know this amazing tool from the Google Workspace for Education, which is the Google Sites. Okay. Let me now um, proceed with our presentation for today. And by the way, uh, teachers, no reminder lang that this is a uh, a certified session. Okay, so you all be getting a certificate after um, for a while after um, accomplishing the evaluation link. No, okay. Okay, so. Uh, for our session for today, you know, this will be our session flow. Okay? We have introduction to Google Sites, okay? and then we'll be doing um, Google Sites um, applications. No? I'll be sharing with you, you know, um, um, three ways that I have been using Google Sites. Okay? And of course, building a website through Google Sites is what we're also going to do for today. Okay? And of course, we're going to have as well you know, an open forum okay? uh, for today's um, uh, session. Para makapagtanong po kayo anything that you might... Um, be, uh, you might want to ask no about Google Sites. And by the way, no, gusto ko rin lang magbigay ng disclaimer kasi syempre may konting repetition to from our first episode, no, first version nitong Google Sites complete walkthrough that we did 2 years ago, okay, in 2020, okay? So this one will now be a 2022 version. Okay? So I hope that uh na sa Google Sites are still here wanting to refresh do sa mga uh, beginners natin. Um, I hope that you get to learn um, how to use Google Sites, okay? And for those who are already users of Google Sites, I hope to you, uh, that you also learn something new, okay? So let's get into this, teachers, and let's start our afternoon exploration of Google Sites. And let's start with an introduction to Google Sites, okay? So ano nga ba tong Google Sites na to, no? At... Um, uh, pa, pa, ano siya, ano, paano natin siya magagamit as educators, okay? So the first one is that uh, Google Sites no, is a productivity and collaborative tool from the Google Workspace for Education for building websites. Yes, okay? So this is still a productivity and a collaborative tool. Napa-collaborative pa rin ito. I will be showing you later on how you can share your websites with others, work with a co-teacher, for example, to build, uh, build the website, or work with a student to build their websites, etc. These are all possibilities no, that you can encounter in Google Sites. No? So, hindi naman ramdam na sobrang excited ko on uh, showing you and showcasing no, this particular tool. Okay? So, um, aside from the teachers, no, okay, itong si Google Site then is known, okay, for three particular, um, particular things, no, okay, which is number one, okay, sharing information to students, okay, uh, really perfect way, no, perfect um space for um uh, like um sharing information because Google Sites can easily be edited. Therefore, when you have new information to share, you don't need to like always like uh, send um, updates to your students. No, the website will be updated no automatically. Okay, so that's what's one of the best way of um, sharing 
ongoing information. For example, if you have a class, okay? if you have a subject, okay? if you have a program or uh, a project, uh, uh, teachers, no? perfect ang Google Sites for launching your, your projects or your um, uh, programs as well. Okay? And of course, pwede rin siyang gamitin for showcasing students' works. Okay? Ito ginagamit ng mga teachers to, no? or ng mga students natin ngayon no? for portfolio assessments. So, uh, and we have been using this as well. No? Later on, I will also be showing you some examples of um, ano, no, um, an example okay, of a portfolio assessment that we did a um, couple of years back no, using Google Sites. Okay? And of course, uh, pwedeng pwedeng gamitin no, and we can also explore using Google Sites uh, for creating online training courses para po sa mga teachers na hindi pa natin, hindi po alam, ano, okay? Kaagapay Teacher Support has an open class, okay? If you want to become or if you want to train for the Google Certified Educators Examination. Okay? Kasi alam namin, hindi lahat ng uh, teachers, no, for a while. And teachers, for a while lang, no, uh, I think there's a problem with connections. So we'll just uh, fix it for a while. Okay, please stand by. Okay, I think we're okay na, no, teachers. Okay, so I hope you're all okay now, teachers. Okay, pasensya na po kayo na magkaroon ng problema about, yes, no, medyo uh, meron tayong uh, problem with um, connection, no, um, as of the moment kasi medyo maulan. Okay, but anyway, aside from uh, showcasing, no, um, students' works, no, pwedeng pwede rin siyang gamitin for online training courses kasi, again, sabi ko nga, no, sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam, meron po kaming, um, sa Kagapay Teacher Support, no, meron po kaming open access training course for those who want to become a Google Certified Educators uh, Educator, no? So, mga, mga gusto pong mag-exam, mag-training, mamaya papakita ko po ako ng itsura noon, okay? Anyway, so those are some of the, ano, no, um, the ways that um, Google um, Sites, no, can actually be used and be utilized, okay? So, uh, very flexible, very useful, no, as a learning platform, as a, um, an, an information platform, no, uh, yung ating Google Sites, okay? So, these are some of the ways you can explore Google Sites as a platform, okay? Now, in terms of access, okay, um, Google um, Sites, no, can easily be accessed via its URL, sites.google.com, okay? Now, teachers, okay, what I always suggest, no, kapag po tayo ay nag-access ng ating mga Google Workspace tools, okay, is to always sync 
our uh, devices, our um, Google Chrome, no, by signing in, okay? Because the moment you use Google Sites, okay, and you are not signed in to your account no, or you're signed into a different account, okay, all the resources that you'll have access with are based on that account, okay? So if you, for example, want to share documents from your official DepEd account, okay, or uh, files or presentations or uh, et cetera, no, okay, then you must be a you must sign in using your DepEd Google account, no, okay, before you even create or start creating in Google Sites so that you are sure that the resources are available for you when you start building your website. So always log in into your Google Chrome so that all your, I don't know, um, all your data will be synced in that particular Google Chrome, okay? And of course, pwede rin ma-access si um, Google Sites no, via our mobile phone, okay? Or tablet, no? Um, except that you do not have actually a a mobile application for this um tool no so bubuksan no pa rin siya using a browser app similar to what we discussed last time no with Google uh, form last uh, meeting no last um last Thursday okay but uh, again these are uh, the most uh, efficient pa rin no na pagbubukas or pag open ng ating Google sites is via your browser no or your Google Chrome okay just type in sites.google.com or just always you can find Google Sites no in um uh, in our waffle icon or in the Google Apps Launcher or Drawer. Okay, so those that's your access point teachers. No, now let's talk about some uh, strengths no and weaknesses okay, of our of this particular tool because I don't want even if it's my favorite no okay um kailangan e fully inform pa rin tayo no what are the strengths and weaknesses so that we can capitalize on the strengths okay and we can also remedy. Or we can address no certain weaknesses, okay? Uh, because we know it, okay? That's that's the reason why ako as I I'm, I'm as a person also, no, I also want to know my weaknesses so that I could also try to compensate for it, okay? So how do we compensate for the weaknesses of Google Sites, okay? First strength of Google Site: easy to use. Really, really no problem using it, okay? Uh, we have tried it for uh, with uh, no, no, I have called, I have uh, I have been a consultant with a school, okay, in uh, Subic. Um, and we have tried Google Sites no, for our grade uh, 4 and 5 students. Okay? So imagine no, grade 4 and 5 students okay, using or building websites already. Okay? So that will tell you it's easy to use. Okay? Second, it's linked to different Google Workspace files. Okay? That's the reason why I'm telling you when, before using Google Sites, make sure that you log into your account okay? so that all your files will be accessible when you start creating your website okay second a uh, third sorry third easily editable okay so once you put up your website no if there are like changes you want to add things okay etc you could easily do those things okay that's the reason why i'm telling you earlier google sites is a perfect space um or i uh, know space or venue in communicating information ongoing information because you can always update your website no every time Okay? There's a little no um, problems with that. Okay? Now, when it comes to weaknesses, no, very similar to Google Forms, okay? um, it has no mobile application, okay? but still, no, the device is adaptive. Pa rin, okay? Kasi, mamaya, papakita ko, no, in our, uh, when we build websites, no, in Google Sites, we can actually check how it looks like in a desktop, how it looks like in a tablet, how it looks like in a mobile phone. So you have a, a good perspective, no, how your design and how your website actually looks across different platforms, okay? S uh, second weakness, limited customization uh, options, okay? Yes, no, um, still, um, um, even if, no, well, I'm still already proud, no, because recently, Google um, already updated Google Sites and added certain a different I don't know customization for its um, um, tool uh, for Google Sites, but not as much, okay? Uh, but still, we're looking for more, okay, more ways to customize our websites, okay? And maybe the last weakness, teachers, no, is that it's still, no, I'd like to be very honest because um, um, I've been a user of Google Sites, no, is that it has limited functionalities pa rin compared to if you're going to a full blast, okay, um, website builder, okay? So, yun yung med siguro medyo may ano, no, um, um, problems on that area. Pero anyway, okay, um, I, I can assure you, teachers, okay? I can definitely vouch for it that you can definitely use 
Google Sites no, in different ways. No? Kahit meron pa siyang mga limited functionalities. Okay? And that is what we're going to explore for today's session. I hope to be able to bring that to all of you for today. Okay? First one, teachers, no, bago pa tayo mag-start, mag-build ng website, gusto ko na munang i-showcase, ipakita, no, paano ba natin pwedeng gamitin or in what ways okay, can we actually use Google Sites. No? So ito yung mga simple and yet very functional ways that I have been using my Google Sites. Okay? Or Google Site, no? Okay? Um, in my um, own uh, um, line of work, so, ginagamit ko siya as a teacher, ginagamit ko siya as an advisor, at ginagamit ko din siya as an advocate no? uh, for, for training. Okay? So, dito rin ako nagko-communicate ng mga information sa ating community. Okay? So, that's what we will, I will be showcasing you know, for the meantime. Okay? So, let's start, teachers, no? at tignan natin itong mga different applications of Google Sites on my end. No? Pero, gusto ko rin i-welcome, by the way, no? yung mga suggestions ni teachers. No? Okay? If you have been using Google Sites in other ways, Please put that in the chat. Let us know. Kung kaya nating i-link yung mga websites natin, teachers, or i-share sa mga uh, community natin ngayon, please put that in the chat ngayon, teachers. No? Okay, para makita natin yung mga websites that you have been doing and some of you, the teachers here, no? okay, uh, other teachers, will be able to learn from you or from what, you, uh, what you're doing and how you have been using Google Sites. So, okay? Um, in the chat, teachers, no? So, I'll be waiting for some of your website links in the chat, okay? First one, I have been using, no, or um, I have started using Google Sites as an information hub, okay? So, since it's very hard, no, especially that most information are being being shared no, online, okay? Sometimes it's so hard to, um, to consolidate information because sometimes information will be shared via... Um, uh, via email, sometimes information will be shared via um, uh, uh, messenger or uh, personal messaging applications, okay? Or sometimes it will be shared, no, um, in 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 chats, okay? Or again, no, different ways of sharing information. But with our with so many information being shared, especially for example for our subjects or our advisory or our school, okay, it would really be nice, okay, if students, okay, can actually access information in one particular space na hindi po sila nag-iisip no, or hindi sila na-confuse na saan nila hahanapin itong mga uh, information na to. Kaya, for example, kailangan ko ng information sa science, okay, may website kami, I will check our website for science. Okay? Let me now show you, teachers, no, okay? uh, an example. This one is ha, um, for my advisory. Okay? So, ito po yung um, uh, ginawa ko. No? I created a website no, for our advisory class. Okay? Para pag meron akong mga information na kailangan i-share sa kanila, I will be able to easily show it to them or share it with them. Okay? So, this one, what, are you, what you're looking at right now is my, um, uh, ano no, um, my website. Okay? Let me just um, um, preview this no? para mas makita natin. Okay? on a preview mode. Okay, so this is how it looks like no from the end of my um, my students, okay? Yeah, medyo baka na late lang si Teacher Regina. Teacher Regina, nagano lang yan. Nagkaroon lang ng um, connection problem. Okay? Anyway, so what I did was to um ano no, um create a website um a website no through Google site uh, to be able to share information with my uh, advisory class. So, nilagay ko dito, for example, kasi kami, meron kaming um, uh, patron saint. Okay? So, naglagay ako ng photo dito ng patron saint namin. And if you can see here, meron din akong ginawang link, no? Na if they click on that, no? They will be able to find out more about our class saint. So, if I click that, for example, it uh, proceeds, no? To an information about our class um, 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 class patron or class saint. Okay? So, again, just an example, no, how powerful um, our um, um, Google site is, okay? And I can, of course, no, I inserted a picture of um, um, of um, our patron saint, okay? And here, pwede rin ako maglagay, o no, naglagay din ako, no, ng uh, announcement board, okay? So pag meron ako mga announcements na inilalagay, ayan, okay? Ina-update ko rin sila dito, okay? Although meron din kami talaga technically, no, sa school namin, okay? Meron kaming... Um, um, ano no, learning management system, I still find it useful no, to put up something like this because it's a bit more easier to use okay? um, at mas madaling tingnan sa mata no, ng mga students ko. Anyway, okay? um, hindi ko nala, um, what I made sure na lang is that there's no overlapping. So what information is being shared in our LMS, hindi ko na siya inuulit sa aming website para wherever they look, no, okay? um, they're not like uh, confused no? kasi pareho lang pala yung laman. Okay? 
So I made sure that what they find in our website is totally different no? uh, from what they find in our learning management system. So nakapaglagay din ako dito ng aking profile no, as an advisor, ayan, ng ating um, classic uh, photo ni, ni Sir Franco. No? Okay? Uh, kahit saan po ginagamit ko yan, teachers. No? So <laughs> kahit saan lumalabas yung photo na yan. Okay? And of course, a little of uh, profile right here. Okay? And naglagay din ako ng uh, uh, ano, no, um, uh, photo ng aking mga mentors. Meron akong mga mentors kasi ng class namin. So tatlo kami. Uh, who are serving as mentors of our class, okay? Tinago ko lang yung pangalan nila, no? Kasi syempre, uh, for data privacy concern, okay? Nilagay ko rin dyan, for example, para laging ma-remember, ma ma maalala ng mga students namin yung aming school vision, school mission, and of course, ang aming popular na sixes, no? Yan po ang aming talagang uh, mandates sa aming school, no? Meron kaming sixes that are the six values that our school actually promotes, no? So, una yan, competence, conscience, culture, community, character, and compassion. Okay? And ano yung teachers, no, share ko rin lang. No? Okay? Napakagandang guide kasi nito. Kasi each subject matter in our school okay, are actually mandated to focus or to strengthen particular uh, particular sixes or particular Cs uh, from our value system. So for example, kami sa SOCSI, sa social science, okay, um, while we teach, we try to target all of them, all the Cs. Okay? We all uh, we are more focused on culture and community. Ayan yung dalawang ano namin, okay? Uh, sa subject area namin. But of course, tiyuturo pa rin namin ng character, compassion, conscience, and com competence din, no? Um, sa aming subject matter. Okay? Pero talagang culture and community yung strongest aspect ng aming subject matter. And of course, each subject matter magkakaiba din, okay? Ano lang, segue lang, no? Ma-share ko lang, teachers, okay? And look at these teachers. Nakapaglagay din ako ng aming... Um, uh, class calendar, okay? So, lahat ng mga events namin, etc. are also plotted here, no? Okay? Uh, at what's good about this, no, is that this is linked to our to, to my Google Calendar. So, pag ina-update ko yung Google Calendar ko, nag update din to automatically. That's the beauty and amazing aspect of Google Sites Teachers, okay? And look at that, teachers, okay? Nakapaglagay din ako dito ng um, survey form, no, para sa mga estudyante ko, okay? So, what I did, was uh, at the start of the, the, the year, no, no mag-start kami, okay? Um, nilagay ko na kaga dito tong, um, um Google form ko and then the students would fill out, okay? Uh, I collected their names, okay? Photo, um, what else? At pang kinalag ko? Uh, name of parent, contact details of the parents, okay? Um, mobile number of parents if needed, okay? Etc. Okay? Um, and doing this, teachers, no, sa start pala ng, ng school year, okay, meron na kagad akong information about my students, okay? I also have information about their parents, okay? And I also have photos of my students, okay? So, uh, hindi na kailangan ngayon, no, ng ating, um, yung uh, old uh, way of collecting information via index card, okay? But of course, kung gusto pa rin mag-index card, no, uh, pwedeng pwede pa rin naman, teachers, no, pero... Um, if you have the chance to use Google Sites, pwedeng pwede po natin gamitin na ang Google Sites as well, okay, for to do that, okay? And, uh, not to mention teachers, no, okay, aside from that, nakapaglagay din ako dito ng iba't ibang pages, no, sa aking uh, Google Sites, no. Meron akong pages for class documents, okay? So, if I click that, for example, uh, my students will have access to our, okay, um, class schedule, ayan. Ayan, meron din akong nilagay dito na, uh, that, that, that's, uh, that's what we call table of contents. Clickable yan, teachers. Pag clinic ng mga students yan, mapupunta sila dun sa file na yun. Okay? At all of these files are properly embedded into my website. Ibig sabihin, they will not be redirected somewhere else. Okay? So when they click, for example, a, um, ano, no, um, um, this document, no, uh, it, the documents could, will actually be shown in the website already. Okay? So it's a self-contained um, information hub, no? Walang redirection, okay? Para hindi tayo nagko-consume ng more bandwidth at hindi po tayo nalilito, no? About, uh, on accessing information. So, it's all here, okay? Nakakapag-embed po tayo ng mga documents sa ating websites, okay? Mamaya po, we will also go to that, no? Yung paglalagay ng uh, table of contents, okay? Aside from that, nakapaglagay din ako ng, um, um, ano ko, no? Teachers and administrators, okay? So, napakalagyan to, no? For our uh, students, kasi, uh, minsan, hindi nila alam where to contact or how to contact their science teacher, their English teacher. So, nilagay ko dito yung mga photo ng kanilang English teachers, name, and of course, email addresses. Okay? Hindi ko lang mapakita teachers na because of data privacy concern. Okay? 
Pero yan, no? Hanggang photo lang. Ayan. Okay? That's an example. Okay? Uh, and of course, below that, no, yung contact details and information about each person or each uh, teacher and staff. Okay? Pati po yung guidance counselor namin nandyan. Okay? So, I always... um. Uh, ano no um include that uh, information to um for my students okay so my students now would definitely have an information about their teachers okay alam nila sa niko contact ano yung pangalan nako napaka classic yung teachers no okay i don't know if you have encountered that already pero na encounter ko na kasi yan okay that uh, at the end of the year okay term 3 Sometimes sa may mga students na sobrang hindi nagpipay ng attention, hindi pa rin memorize or alam yung pangalan mo sa dulo, no? Okay? Well, of course, siguro fault ko din yun kasi hindi ako siguro masyadong active sa class na. But I don't know, but uh, uh, I've been like exerting so much effort in class. Pero pagdating sa dulo ng, ng third term namin or fourth quarter, uh, what's the name again of our social science teachers? Nako, ang sakit sa ulo. But anyway, ayan, at least meron silang information about all their teachers, okay? Naglagay din ako dito ng... Um, uh, a, a profile ko for my students, okay? Yan, okay? So, hindi ko rin pakita, no, kasi uh, data privacy concern. Uh, class officers, um, nilagay ko rin dito pag, di ba, meron tayong mga class officers um, for our students, okay? And um, that's, uh, ano, no, uh, a way to also inform your class, no, about the officers. And, of course, no, para din properly declare yung mga officers niyo, okay? And dito, naglagay din ako ng uh, academic policies for ano no um uh, page no kung saan my students will be able to see uh, academic policies of our school ayan okay for the meantime ang nilagay ko lang dito is a video of our um um assistant principal for uh, academics no kay uh, Mr. Exxon Yu okay uh, kung saan dinidiscuss niya pinag-uusapan dito no yung mga school policies namin so the students can easily review these things okay so uh, and teachers no napakadaling to kasi lahat ng information nandito na so, hindi mo na kailangan mag-print ng mga uh, papers, hindi mo na kailangan maglagay ng mga napakalaking mga uh, information sa classroom, no? okay? What you only need to do is to actually share this link. So, pwede mo itong i-share yung link nito, no? Or, much better to make a QR code for this, okay? So, ang ginawa ko lang actually, nag-generate lang ako ng QR code for my students. And my students, when they came into school, dahil meron po kaming one device, one person policy, siniscan lang nila yung aming QR code. And that's it. They access our um, uh, digital bulletin board. Okay, so this is one way, no, to start digitalization of our schools, teachers, and a proud moment, teachers, is that this kind of, uh, I don't know, this um, digital bulletin board has been adopted, no, by some schools, okay, in the U.S. already. Okay, because last time, no, nag-share ako sa isang um, sa isang uh, podcast in the U.S., okay. And uh, they really like no, uh, how uh, the digital bulletin board works and it's now being adopted to some schools okay, in uh, in the US. Okay? So, uh, maabot na po tayo no, yung mga innovations natin sa ibang bansa teachers. No? So again, that's a testament no, of how well uh, received no, ditong idea ng digital bulletin board. Okay? Okay, next one. Aside from information hub, okay? So, pwedeng pwede rin tayong mag-create naman ng mga portfolio, okay? Ito, teachers, no, hindi ko masyadong the one that I was able to recover kasi may mga iba na erase na, no? Pero, I'm going to show you an example, but this is not yet really the exemplar, okay? But you will be able to see how it looks like, no? And how we, um, and then, um, help okay, our students build a portfolio using Google Sites. And it was created, I think, no, two to three years ago okay, um, in our school. Okay? So this is our SOCSI um, e-portfolio. Okay? So this is an example. Okay? Um, okay? Yeah, okay? Um, pakita ko lang no, uh, in full view. Okay? So this is an example of a website no, created by my students. Okay? So, student po ang nag-create na the teacher, you know, okay? And um, this was done over a, a, a long period of time naman because we have to guide them, we have to teach them how to use it and how to do it. Pero that, you would see, you know, how, how well our students can actually perform, okay? Um, in this uh, particular um, uh, ano, no, platform. So, yan yung kayang title page, okay? Meron siyang rationale about this particular um, 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 portfolio, okay? Ano yung uh, goal niya, okay? Etc., okay? Uh, and then, Nag-set din siya ng lahat ng mga assessments niya. Ayun, okay? Meron siyang um, uh, tab na for assessments, okay? At nandiyan yung kanyang assessment itong student na to, okay? 
um, high performing student naman to no okay uh, and again ano na siya um, graduate na to ng uh, ng school namin okay and of course meron din siya dito uh, meron din kaming pinalagay no kasi napakaimportante na pag gumagawa po tayo ng portfolio assessment is that aside from curating no all the assessments ng mga students natin in one um in one um, um, space, no? okay? kailangan maturuan din po natin yung mga student. Um, part din dapat ng ating portfolio assessment is yung tinatawag nating synthesis. Okay? So, ang ginawa lang namin dito is that our students no, um, uh, created an essay. Okay? So, nagpagawa kami ng essay no, sa aming mga sudyante um, that talks about no, the whole learning experience. Okay? So, from because this is a whole year portfolio. So, lahat ng assessments nila from the first uh, quarter, second quarter, third quarter, up to the fourth quarter were curated into this portfolio. And to make sense of it, Kim, we actually um, asked them a our ano no, our um, um, overarching question. Okay? Kasi our team for the entire year is changed. Okay? So what they did is uh, ano no, um, we asked them how did you uh, see and how did change manifest okay, in our lessons in our subject okay so what they started doing is to explore change no what were the changes in um in our uh, that they observe in our lessons okay um uh, also no uh, personally how did they change no as a person over the course of one year okay, etc okay so yan kanilang mga um different uh, ano no um yun kanilang synthesis okay? so that now becomes a part no of their portfolio. So hindi pwedeng pag sinabing for portfolio is portfolio um correct ano lang no um curating of in ano lang assessments. Kailangan portfolio ends with a synthesis or much better ang iba pong ginagawa ng ibang mga teachers teach, ano po no um is that a uh, portfolio and then they would present the portfolio. Okay? So aside from this no so pwede rin nila itong i-present okay? um to a panel okay? and the panel will actually um interrogate no um the the curator of the portfolio. So pwedeng pwede po 'yun, okay? And again, teachers maybe simple, no, pero if you think about it, this is a student, okay? Uh, and this is a grade, I think the grade uh, 9 to uh, grade 10 student, okay? That uh, was able to build a website on her uh, his own, okay? And actually make sense of the entire learning experience, okay? That's the kind of course, no, isa yan sa mga trend natin sa ating 20 first century classroom na yung paggamit ng mga portfolio assessments. Naglagay din siya ng comment section, okay? Ayan, okay? Ayan, kaya lang naka, mukhang nag-close na no, yung kanyang document, okay? So teachers, eto, um, gusto ko na rin explain ngayon, no? Bakit po may gantong um, element ng ating Google Sites, okay? Mamaya, um, you have to be reminded, no? That whenever you share files, okay? Into your Google Sites, the file should be open sharing, okay? Or else, people will not be able to see it. Yan, isa sa mga common mistakes no, ng ating ng mga nag-build ng website sa Google Sites. Kapag hindi naka-share yung document, okay, if someone enters there and um, um, access a document, it's actually not visible. Okay? So, ito yung example. No? Classic example, if a, web, if a document no, is uh, no longer being shared. Okay? And right now, it's normal kasi medyo matagal itong student na ito. No? Okay? Um, hindi, hindi, nawala na siguro yung document niya um uh, for ano no for for me to be able to comment on okay now teachers okay, that's an example of a portfolio okay and, okay next one natin is online course okay so paano naman natin gagamitin no sa paggawa ng online course okay ang ating Google Sites no perfect na perfect dito for online course teachers and let me now bring you okay to our kaagapay teacher support page. Okay. So, dito naman, teachers, okay, my, um, I will be able to show you, no, um, how I'm using um, Google Sites, okay, in order to bring an online course to our teachers. And this one is the GCE training. Okay. So, yan. Hindi pa masyadong updated, by the way, no. I-update ko po ito. At, by the way, isa sa mga suggestions sa akin ng mga teachers, no, is that to curate, no, ang, ang content natin sa YouTube into courses, okay, which will be launching in August, teachers, sa abangan natin, okay? So, kung nahihirapan kayo, for example, mag-browse, okay, ng mga uh, content sa aming YouTube channel, we will now be curating the content of our YouTube channel into courses, okay? So, for example, magkakaroon tayo ng student engagement course, okay? Magkakaroon tayo ng technology integration course, magkakaroon tayo ng PBL um, uh, course, no? And all other courses, no? Um, in, ano, no? Um, 
in our webs in this website okay so hindi na lang siya GCE training okay so abangan po natin yan okay um, para hindi na po kayo nahirapan kasi alam ko mahirap maghanap ng content sa website sa YouTube channel namin kasi we already have 240 plus videos okay so we will end of course teachers na pag sinabi natin courses hindi lang kailangan videos we will also pack it with other materials okay so abangan po natin yan teachers okay um, as for the certification we will still have to design it kung maglalagay din kami ng certification for the online courses, okay? But um, what do you think, teachers? No? Kung kailangan nyo po ng, ng certification at the end of the online course, let us know, no? Gagawan po natin ng paraan yan. Okay, parang alam nyo naman si Sir Franco, no? Napakarupok pagdating sa mga request ng mga teachers natin, okay? Anyway, this is the what how it looks like, teachers, no? Yung aming online course for the Google Certified Educators. Ayan, may makikita po kayo dito na uh, what they call this uh, table of contents okay so you can easily just navigate no on this um, table of contents such as recorded training sessions walk through of essential google tools etc na may task cards din diyan self check um mock examination etc okay so this is um some of the tools no yan nakapaglagay ako ng video okay like there okay and na curate ko rin dito yung mga video namin about um different google workspace for education, I will definitely be updating this because we have a 2022 version okay, of this different um, walkthroughs. No? Okay? And of course, and then din yung aming task card. Okay? This is a task card for those who want to practice no, before they take their examination. Okay? Napaka helpful po nito. Okay? Um, this was actually created by the one who actually supervised no, the creation of the Google Certified Educators Examination. So you should know, know that this is actually going to be useful. Okay? And meron din kaming self-check um, PDF dito. So pwede rin tayo mag-upload ng mga PDF. Okay? And uh, a mock examination. Ayan. So pwede ka rin mag-try dito. If you already know, know this is a 85-item mock examination. Okay? So yan ang example no, ng isang trading course. No? Uh, at again... Uh, abangan, no? Uh, because we'll be launching more courses, online courses, in the next uh, few, uh, uh, in, in August, no? August natin simulan. Huwag natin patagalin. Agad-agad natin kagad simulan ngayong August, no? Baka maghintay ang mga teachers natin, okay? So that's, teachers, no? An example of a, um, a online course, okay? Using Google Site, okay? Simple yet powerful teachers mas i say no okay um hindi siya ganun ka like extravagant no compared to other um websites pero would you agree teachers no it's it serves its function okay uh, makikita mo makatuto, matututo ka magagamit mo siya etc no for the purpose that it's meant to uh, perform okay diba tama naman ako teachers no okay um so kahit hindi siya ganun ka, ka ano no ka um, upgraded no ng uh, ng ibang mga functionalities with um, other website builders still pack with enough tools no to actually do um its uh, ano, no, uh, its tasks okay so yan teachers ang ating some applications no ng ating um um uh, google sites no okay so teachers when you again no please do share okay sa ating um uh, chat ngayon no do, um your ideas of using google sites as well okay alam ko meron na ring gumamit no kasi hindi ko lang siya nagamit pero last time i also helped creating registration websites. Okay. Sino po yung mga gumamit ng mga registration websites uh, using Google Sites? Ayan. Pwedeng-pwede nyo rin pong gamitin. No? So kung meron po kayong mga ongoing registration uh, for a program, for a um, an enrollment, etc., pwedeng-pwede rin pong gamitin ang Google Sites. Okay? Para pagpupunta yung, yung students, no? Uh, pagpunta sila sa um, registration website, yun nandun na lahat. Okay? Sample forms, okay? registration forms, information about your school, etc. Okay, ayan. Okay, medyo nakaka-pressure na yan. Uh, meron mga looking forward na according to Miss uh, May Baisa Versosa. Na shout out, by the way, to Miss May Baisa Versosa. Okay? Para nakakita ko lang ng post ni Miss May kanina about Kahoot. Congratulations once again, Miss uh, May. No? Uh, we hope that we can also talk about that in KTS no? soon. Okay? Sana po magkaroon tayo ng Kahoot um, session no? sa ating KTS. Okay? Anyway, let's now go back teachers no? at magsimulan tayo ngayon sa pag-build ng website. So, paano nga ba tayo magsa-start mag-create ng website? Okay? So, let's start our creating a Google site via Google Sites. Okay? So, of course, the first, uh, the first um, ano, no, um, 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 access point natin is to actually go to um, sites.google.com. Okay? So, to do this, okay, pupunta tayo sa sites. 
at google.com. Okay? And when you enter, when you go to sites at google.com, teachers, this is what you're going to see and get. Okay? Um, pag nag-open po tayo ng ating, uh, ng, ano, when you, uh, it's your first time you go to sites at google.com, you will see here uh, your recent sites. Okay? Of course, no, kung nakapag-build na tayo ng mga websites natin. And of course, meron din tayo ditong uh, option to create or start from a blank website. Okay? So, yan po yung pwede natin gawin. Okay? Now, please also take note para hindi po tayo nahihirapan or hindi tayo kagad ma-overwhelm no, sa pag-start at paggawa ng website natin. Kung beginner po tayo uh, at nag-start pa lang tayo, why not use an, uh, ano, no, a, uh, a template no, for our, um, um, uh, our websites? Okay? So, meron na po tayo ditong iba't ibang mga templates. Let's just open template gallery to view all the templates available for us. Okay? Ayan, lipat lang ako, no? Uh, this one, teachers, pwede tayong mag-create ng template gallery for our domain. So, for example, sa domain ni na Miss May, Miss May, you can actually create no um templates that only shareable within your domain. So, pwede, pwede po niyong gawin yan, okay? Um, for example, sa amin, Save Your School. Kayo, sa iba naman po, pwedeng DepEd domain, etc. So, you can build your own templates. Pero meron na rin tayong mga general templates dito, okay? That you can use. Meron tayong for class, club, student portfolio, your own uh, professional portfolio, okay? And of course, for work, meron tayong event, help center, project, uh, team, um, websites, etc. And dami, teachers, no, okay? So you already have so many options, no, where to start, no, your websites, okay? So you, you don't need to start from scratch, okay? But of course, para po sa ating, um, ating session for today, magsa-start po tayo from scratch, okay? Sisimulan po natin mag-build ng website from scratch, okay? So let me now start our website right here, okay? And uh, explore, no, okay? Our um, uh, creation of a website, okay? Now, couple of things, teachers, okay? Pag nag-create tayo ng website natin, ang unang-una nyo pong gustong gawin is, of course, to put a title onto that, okay? Bakit po kailangan ng title? It's because this website, no, will actually be a file stored in your Google Drive. So if you want to easily find this file, put a good title on it. Okay? So say for example, we will be creating uh, ano, no, a, um, a training portal website. Okay? So ito po ang ating, um, ating ano, website. No? Okay? Lagay natin KTS. Ayan na, ginagawa na natin ang training portal right here, live sa KTS, ang ating KTS training portal, okay? Baka ito na teachers yun, no? yung gagamitin natin, okay? Now, once you have created the teachers, no? so pwedeng-pwede nyo na pong gamitin niya, um, uh, magre-reflect na rin po ang inyong um, uh, title na dun sa inyong um, uh, title page ng inyong uh, website, okay? So, parehas lang po yun, okay? Now, aside from the teachers, okay, um, as you start to build your website, no? Um, Kaya maganda rin na makapaglagay tayo ng logo, okay? That will add up like a personal branding customization sa inyong Google site. So what I'm going to do now is to insert a logo, okay? I'm just going to um, upload the logo, no? Okay? Yan, mag-upload lang tayo ng logo, okay? I'm going to get a logo from my um, desktop. Okay, let me just get that one. Okay, syempre meron na po akong folder for logos, okay? Yes, yes, okay. Piliin natin itong gray. Okay. So, once that's done, teachers, okay, ayan na, okay, meron ka na ngayon makikitang logo dun sa ating upper right, upper left corner ng ating website. Ayan, okay. So, dyan pa lang, teachers, no? Kita mo na kagad yung ganda at dali ng paggawa ng website, no? Wala pa tayong 5 minutes, teachers. Meron na tayong draft ng ating website, okay? At meron tayong customization, branding na nagaganap sa ating website as well, okay? So that's, teachers, our first step, no? On creating our website, okay? Now, let us be let's now explore our next part, no? Which is on adding content. Siyempre, website to, no? Okay? We have to put content onto it, okay? And, Inserting content in a website, no, in our Google site, is such an easy thing to do. Okay, there are cop, there are two, um, I don't know, um, two practical ways, no, to insert um content in your website, okay? And let me now go back to our sample website, okay? The first way to insert a content, okay, 
um, into our website okay, is by double clicking on any space okay, where you want to insert a content. Say, for example, I want to insert a content in this white space. What I'm going to do is to do double click on that one. And you will see this icon right there. That's your insert button. Okay? So, limayan teachers. Okay? Pwedeng pwede tayong number one, mag-insert ng photo. Okay? So, insert ako ng photo, for example. I can get a photo from, um, from my Google Drive. I can also get a photo from my, by URL. Google image, image, uh, image search. Pwede pwede na kayo mag-search ng image um, Google. And of course, kung meron kayong photos or the picture is coming from your photos. Okay? But this one, let's get an image no, from, um, from my Google Drive. Okay? And this one, let's uh, look for okay? um, this one. For example, let's insert this banner from um, of hybrid learning. Okay? Example, let's since that's our event, no, our first event. Uh, this August, no, one of our events in August. Okay, as you can see here, I was able to insert already the photo. Okay, and all photos that you'll be inserting, teachers, no, can actually be um, uh, ano, no, um, crop, okay, or customized in terms of size. Okay, so you can actually drag, okay, this um, um, button here, sa um, corner niya, okay. Teachers, iwasan po natin, by the way, no, mag, mag stretch ng photo from the left side and right side. Kasi nawawala yung proportions niya. Okay? So, <laughs> always stretch your photos, no, from the corner. Okay? Para na maintain po yung aspect ratio na sinasabi natin. Okay? So, that's how easy you can insert, no, a photo into your website. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya kadali. Okay? And of course, dito, Pwede natin siyang i-crop um, yung ating photo. Pwede rin siyang i-uncrop, okay? Or even insert a link no, into your photo so that your photo becomes clickable as well, okay? So you can also do that, okay? Meron ka iba pang editing options. Pwede kang mag, uh, maglagay ng alternative text. Uh, teachers, ma minsan maraming may mga tanong din dito. No? Ano po itong alternative text, okay? Basically, teachers, alternative text no, is a way to inform users, okay, what the photo is all about. Okay? So, let's uh, describe mo lang basically no, sa alt text mo, describe mo lang what the photo is all about. Bakit po ganun? Kasi sometimes, some users do not have internet connection enough to open your photo. So, dun pa lang sa photo, kahit hindi nalang ma-open yung photo, no, hindi siya mag-open kasi nga mahina ang signal, they would be able to know, ah, the photo is about this one. Okay? So, yan po ibig sabihin ng alternative text no, or alt text natin. Okay? So, that it becomes more inclusive teachers. Okay? Um, so kahit yung mga hindi masyadong magandang signal, lalo na po sa mga sudyante nyo, still get to understand what the photo or what the images are all about. Okay? That's your um, ano no, um, way of editing. No? Pwede ka rin mag-add ng caption, etc. Okay? So pwede, pwede mo rin siyang i-fully customize. Okay? Okay, next one. Pwede tayong mag-add naman ng um, file, no? Or upload tayo ng file from our computer. Okay? Say, for example, maghahanap ako ng uh, PDF. Okay? I just uh, insert a random PDF, okay? From my uh, file. Okay? okay? Wala pala akong PDF for a while. Walang lumalabas na PDF mo. Okay? Search lang tayo. Insert lang. Okay, mag-search na lang ako ng um, file, okay? from Kaagapay Teacher Support. For example, mag-insert ako ng isang um, PDF. Okay? Just um, search for a PDF here. Okay, mukhang wala pala tayong PDF file dito sa ano ko. Ano. <laughs> Let's just insert a uh, a photo ulit. No? Okay, but this one is now uploading from your device. Okay? And this one, sige, insert natin yung ating... Um, uh, ano, no, uh, JPEG photo naman from our file. Okay? So, similar lang, photo din. Pero this one, okay, you are inserting from your device. Ayan. So, we can also insert na straight from our device teachers. Okay? So, that's the second one. Okay? Similar lang, meron na siyang customization din no, as a photo. Okay? We can also insert, which is this one I really like. No? Pwede rin tayong mag-insert ng files straight from our Google Drive. Okay? So this one, I think meron tayong PDF na may ma, ma, uh, insert dito. Let's search for a PDF. Okay. Okay. Tayo ng PDF. Okay. And these uh, teachers no, will actually appear onto your... Ako, ano yung pala itong ano natin. Okay. Let's search for example a, um, a PDF from this one. Okay. 
Okay, this one. Okay, so meron akong PDF na ipapasok. Okay, uh, this is a testimonial from one of the teachers okay, that I know. Okay, ayan. So pwede ka rin mag-insert ng mga PDF okay, sa inyong uh, document, sa inyong website. No? Okay, so if you have example, you, you have like worksheets, Although worksheets dapat sana ano eh, editable no pero uh, if you want to also um, upload like mga references etc you can do that no also into your website and put that and again what's amazing about this is that whenever you do that no itong mga ano natin mga ini-insert natin are all embedded into your website ibig sabihin yung mga PDF photos na yan no are already viewable within your website okay? another one that you might want to explore no when you're inserting um, files from your Google Drive is you can actually insert an entire uh ano no an entire folder okay so let me just get for example okay this uh ano no um file okay this one okay so we can insert an entire folder from uh, our google drive okay look at that okay so i have inserted an entire folder from my google drive but again sabi ko ang teachers wag kakalimutan very very important kapag nag-share po tayo ng file from our google drive the file or the folder should be in an open sharing. Kailangan naka anyone with a link siya. Okay? Or kung ang gagamit ng website nyo is within your domain or within your school, dapat naka-share siya to the domain. Okay? Or else, this links, no, this folders, files from your Google Drive will not be viewable. Okay? So, very, very important reminder. Okay? And this one, um, of course, na yung last natin na pwede natin i-insert is would be links. Okay? So, if you want, for example, to insert um, uh, URLs, websites, etc. No, okay? into your um, or pwede, gusto mo mag-embed ng uh, ng um, ng um, resources into your website. Pwedeng pwede rin. Say for example, mag-embed tayo ng okay. Uh, let me just get my Padlet. No, ito very usual natin ginagamit. No, di ba gumagamit kayo ng mga Padlet? Okay, your Padlet could also be embedded into your um into your website. Say for example, I'm going to get this. Okay, itong um uh, padlet na to, no? Okay? So, when you're embedding, for example, a padlet, ang kailangan natin dyan, syempre, would be the embed code. So, gagawin ko lang, punta lang ako siya share, and then I'm going to get the embed code nitong um, uh, padlet ko na to. I'm going to copy that, okay? And I'm going to proceed and get that into my embed code. Type it here, and click next. And that, you can see, that particular ta padlet, no? has already been embedded into my website. Okay? How amazing that is, teachers. No? Okay? Ito, ginagamit ko usually itong um, um, Padlet ko. No? Ginagamit ka siya for comments. Okay? So, pwede kayong gum gumawa ng comment section sa inyong website using Padlet. Okay? And again, hindi kailangan lumabas ng student no? or ng users nyo sa inyong website. No? They can stay here sa loob ng, um, sa loob ng inyong uh, website. Ay, ng inyong, yes, no? Dito rin sila pwede mag-answer, etc. Okay? So, walang redirection unless they really want to open it in um, in Padlet, no? Okay? So, again, power of embed ng ating website, okay? That's your several, ano, no? The first way of inserting content into your website. First pa lang po yan, teachers, no? Okay? Konti pa lang po yung ini-insert natin. There are more even more and even better ano no uh, things to insert in our website okay now our second way of inserting contents in our website okay, would be via our ta ano no, um tools on the right side okay you can see there a tab called insert okay so lahat ng insertable things sa google sites natin are here okay so kanina na explore na natin yung text box image embed and drive okay this time Meron ka naman tinatawag na content blocks, okay? Ito perfect tong content blocks no para hindi na po kayo nagli-layout, okay? So if you want automatic layouting, automatic insert ng photos and um, information, no, okay? Uh, you can definitely do that no by using the content blocks, okay? So what it does, say for example, you're looking to insert a um ano no, you're looking to insert a photo with description. What you can do is click on this content block right here. Meron na siyang layout ng one photo um, uh, description. If I insert that, boom, right there. Naka-layout na siya. Ang gagawin ko na lang, maglalagay ako ng photo. So, for example, mag-upload ako ng photo dito. Okay? And I'm going to search for my photo here, right here. And then, I'm going to type my uh, name here. Ganun lang siya kadali features, no? Okay? At maglalagay ako ng description if I need to. 
Okay? And of course, siyempre, pwede mong edit yung photo na yan para kita yung buong photo right there. Okay? So, napakadali po natin siyang magagawa. Okay? And of course, teachers, please take note na lahat ng text natin sa ating Google Sites are editable no? or has a rich text editor. So, look at that. Meron kayong um, uh, text style sa taas kung gusto nyo po siyang uh, title, heading, subheading, or small text lang siya. Meron na rin kayong more options for text teachers. No? Kasi dati, ito ang problema ng Google Sites. No? Hindi ganun kadami ang text styles natin. But now, we have so much more to choose from teachers. No? Okay? So we can fully customize. We have a lot of uh, fonts no? to, um, to use to, uh, for the customization of our Google Sites. Okay? And of course, nandiyan din yung ating um, font sizes. Okay? Bold, italics, uh, underline. Okay? Even text color teachers, pwede yung palitan. Okay? Um, whatever color you want. Okay? Pwede rin kayo mag-insert ng link para maging uh, what call this, hyperlink itong mga um, text natin. Okay? Uh, you also have your alignment um, 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 editing okay? or uh, formatting. Okay? And of course, nandiyan din yung ating um, spacing, um, indention, okay? um, striking through, etc. Okay? So, yung mga rich text editor natin. Okay? So, again, kahit hindi pa ganun kadami yung customizations natin with Google Sites, no? Google Site has been improving and progressing no? bit by bit, no? gradually. At uh, paganda po siya ng paganda no? as the year, as that years goes uh, years go by no okay so that's teachers no yung paggamit ng um, content block no ito uh, napaka useful din for example pag meron kayong mga information like lessons okay ng uh, gumagamit ng photos so pwedeng pwedeng niyo rin po siyang gamitin okay you can also insert no this content blocks okay so you could easily lay out things okay hindi kayo magkakaproblema on layouting ng inyong content okay so that's your yet another way uh, things not to insert into your website okay now next one how about inserting a collapsible group okay so meron din tayo dito mga iba't iba pang mga contents na pwedeng i uh, insert no the first one is a collapsible group so basically teachers no ang collapsible group lang naman is um if you want to ins uh, if you're inserting for example a long text okay and the long text is not, uh, ano no, um, mag-occupy siya ng sobrang daming details okay, or sobrang daming space sa inyong um, website. You can actually use a collapsible group para nakakollapse yung information. Okay? So say for example, mag-insert tayo ng collapsible group. Okay? And uh, we can go here and type um, kaagapay teacher support. Okay? So description of kaagapay teacher support. Let me just... Fetch that, no? Um, ano nga ba ang description natin ng na ating kaagapay teacher support? Okay? Let me just get it from here. At ikakopy na lang natin no, yung ating description, okay? Right here. Say, so for example, I'm going to copy that, okay? But instead of like putting it as a text, we're going to put that as a collapsible group, okay? Yeah, and right there, okay? And um, teachers, no? That now becomes, okay? Uh, the text, no, pwede na siya makolapse. So, hindi na kailangan nakashow yung buong text, okay? If I preview that, for example, okay, you will see it this way. Okay, sorry. Okay, so nakita niya, teachers, no, hindi pinapakita yung buong text, okay? Right there. So, uh, viewers will still have to click on, on, on uh, expand, okay? Ayun sa baba, okay? Uh, para makita nila yung text, okay? So, if I click, for example, expand, okay? Right there sa baba, no? Tsaka lang makikita yung text. Okay? So, ganun po ang itsura ng collapsible um, group, no? Okay? Next one, aside from collapsible group, meron ka table of contents, okay? Pag nag insert po tayo ng table of contents, okay? Um, this is actually a perfect way, no? For you, if you want your viewers to easily access your content in a page, okay? Kasi di ba minsan naglalagay tayo ng sobrang daming uh, content, no? Sa ating... Um, uh, sa ating page, ang hirap mag-navigate, okay? So, in order for your audience no, to easily navigate into your content, maglagay ka ng table of contents. So, table of contents, okay, will always appear on top. Okay, ayun. At automatic po siya, teachers, no? Hindi nyo po yan na-edit, okay? Paano nyo po ito may edit okay? So, how and why or how will be um, contents in your uh, in your page, no, will reflect in the table of contents, okay? It's via the, the use of what we call textiles, okay? So, ngayon, for example, ang nakikita lang natin dyan, kaagapay teacher support, right? Okay? It's because the only text, okay, heading na meron tayo 
is kaagapay teacher support. But what if, for example, naglagay ako dito ng text ulit. Sorry. Maglagay tayo ng text dito sa taas. Okay. Drag ko lang. Sa taas. Okay. So, say for example, maglagay ako ng, um, um, lagay dito tayo ng KTS administrator. Okay. Now, to, for it to be recognized okay, by your uh, table of contents, kailangan ang textile niyan nasa title or heading. So, say for example, gawin natin siyang heading. Okay? Now, since it's now a heading, okay, take note that what happens now, look at that. Okay? It has been recognized by your table of contents, no? KTS administrator. Okay? So, naka-hierarchy po yan, ano? Okay? So, yung uh, um, title, heading, subheading. Okay? So, yan po ang mga na-recognize ng ating table of contents. It's automatic. Okay? So, the moment you put a, um, a, tech, uh, a title, a heading, um, na text, okay? it will be recognized by your table of contents already. Okay? Now, let me show you how it works. Okay? Kapag pinuntahan natin yung ating um, kaagapay teacher support, no? okay? and this is an example of a table of contents. No? Okay? So, sobrang dami kong contents dito. Okay? For example, teacher, tapos na isang teacher sa... Um, uh, iyan ako lang, no? i-preview ko lang. Okay? For example, the teacher is already done with module 1. Okay? Kailangan na niyang pumunta sa module 3. So, kailangan pa ba niya mag-scroll down? Hindi na. Click lang niya yun, okay? And that will now... Sorry. Okay. Hindi pala tayo. Naka-preview kasi pala tayo. No? Okay? Kailangan ko siyang i-view on, uh, ano, no? um, on actual. Okay? But again, those are now clickable. Ano, no? Each of the component of your table of contents no? will become clickable. Okay? So when they click on it, they go to the content already. It's okay, so a perfect way of organizing, allowing your users, your um, viewers, no, to easily navigate into your table, your, into your content in your website. Okay. Okay. Next one, we have what we call image carousel. Ayan naman. Okay. Image carousel is basically a perfect way of put, putting photos. Okay. Um, in such a way that they don't all show at the same time. Okay. So if you put an image carousel, okay mag upload kayo ng two or more photos. So, for example, mag-upload tayo ng... Upload natin Sir Jambi. Okay? Upload pa tayo ng isa pa. Kailangan at least two ang i-upload natin. Okay? So, for example, upload natin si... Uh, of course, no, yung sa akin na lang din. Okay? So, dalawa kami, for example, ni Sir Jambi. No? Kapag in-insert natin yan, okay? now, the photo will not show both of the photo, as you can see. Okay? Because again, image carousel siya, no? meron siyang next button. Okay? So if I, for example, preview that, that should now be a moving um, set of photos. Ayan, okay? So meron kang navigational bar, uh, uh, ano no, tool. Okay? So pag klinik yun ng uh, users mo, ayun, next photo na siya. Okay? So if you have example, you want to upload like 10 photos. Okay? Ang dami nun, di ba? Kunyari, meron kang lesson about World War I. Okay? At gusto mo ilagay yung 10 photos of World War I. Pag nilagay mo lahat yun sa website mo ng isa-isa, medyo masyadong crowd, crowding, no? Okay? So what you can do is to put the photos in image carousel so that your students would browse on it one at a time. You can also even, okay, look at this teachers, no? Isa sa mga special settings ng image carousel is that, okay? Pwede mo siyang i-auto, uh, ano, no? I-auto um, start, ayun, okay? So if you go here, when you open your um, image, balik lang ako, no? When you open your image carousel, click on the settings on the upper left corner right there. Okay? When you click the settings, meron ka ulit settings button doon. Okay? When you click that settings button, ayan. Makita mo yung um, ano, no, settings ng image carousel mo. Pwede kang mag-show ng caption. Pwede kang mag-auto start. So pagdating at pagpasok ng audience mo sa inyong website, gumagalaw yung inyong image carousel. No? Okay? Automatically. Okay? Um, to, ano, no, to, um, uh, to showcase na yung mga photos nyo. Okay? And of course, teachers, huwag kakalimutan na bawat uh, photo pwede kayong maglagay ng, ng caption. Okay? So if you click on the photo, meron kayong makita ang add text. Okay? So for example, I can add a caption right here okay? and I can put my name. Okay? Yan, kasawa kayo sa photo ko ngayon, teachers, kasi yan ang gagamitin kong demonstration photo, okay? Uh, for example, si jo Sir Joseph, Sir Jambi naman, no? okay? Joseph Angelo Santos. Okay, that's it, okay? So, pwede-pwede, again, pwede-pwede mong gamitin sa lessons mo, okay? 
uh, pwede ka maglagay ng mga materials mo from your subject area, okay? Um, put captions on it, no description, so that your students will learn more about that particular photo. Again, perfect for instruction. Hindi lang siya pang website, pang instruction pa siya. Ah, hindi lang siya pang, ano, no, pang, um, pang communicate ng mga information or general information. Pwedeng, pwede siya sa ating mga subject areas, okay? That's your image carousel, okay? Cancel ko lang yan, okay? At mag uh, proceed na tayo. Our next one is what we call a button, okay? Yung button naman yung teachers, no? Perfect yung ginagamit kapag gusto mo mag-insert ng uh, link, okay? Nyari, gusto mo silang uh, mag-proceed no, to a link, uh, then you can do that. No? Say, for example, mag-insert tayo ng button, okay? And I'm going to uh, insert, for example, ang name ng aking button ay click here for evaluation. Okay, so nyari, magli-link tayo ng Google Form. Ay, wag na palang Google Form kasi, um, ano no, um, pwede mo naman i-insert yung form itself, no? <laughs> Pero, nyari, um, click here to explore this topic. Okay, nyari, yun yung ano natin, no? Okay, tapos gawin mo lang, magli-link ka lang dyan, for example, ng website, napunta lang tayo, for example, on National Geographic Channel, no? Nyari, magkukuha tayo ng... Um, content from Ge National Geographic Channel, okay? And um, we're just going to link that, for example, to our students, okay? Ayan. Okay. Click lang natin. Alis lang ako dyan. Lalagay ko lang yung link dito. And boom, you will now have a clickable link on your website right there. Okay? You can expand that clickable link para mas makita yung text. You can also move that, okay, uh, in your website if you want, okay? And once again, Kapag clinic na mga students mo yan, okay, that will now bring them to that particular website. Okay? That should now bring them, no? Okay? I guarantee you, no? Okay? Itataya ko yung buhay ko. They will be brought to the link. You link in that button. Okay? So, you can put that, no? Perfect and for, again, no, for, um, uh, for additional resources, okay, for external resources, etc. Okay? So, this is your button. Okay? And, of course, uh, pwede rin tayo maglagay, no? Ito naman, divider. Simple lang naman to Naglalagay lang siya ng line, no? Kapag gumagamit tayo ng divider, okay? Um, into a particular content, ayan. Okay, so if you want, like, to put dividers, okay, um, or lines, no? That separates contents, okay? You can also do that, okay? Now, if you are um, creating a template, no? This is perfect, no? Baka kasi, for example, para sa mga lower grades teachers, papagawa ka ng portfolio, baka pwedeng hindi mo na sila pwede, uh, start sa, ano, sa start, no? You might want to actually create a template for them, okay? So, ang gawin mo, teachers, okay? Uh, ang ganyan niyo po, teachers, no? To create a template, gumamit kayo ng mga placeholders, okay? Para the students would know what kind of content no, will be put in this particular space, okay? So, basically, placeholder, uh, placeholders, no, okay? Will actually look like this, no? Click ko lang dito para dito pumasak sa baba, okay? Ayan, okay? So, a placeholder looks like these teachers. Ayan, lagay ko lang sa baba, okay? So, it actually like, basically, no, <coughs> where students can <coughs> can put a photo or put uh, a content, okay? So, pwede mo na silang i-organize, no, para pagdating sa kanila, okay, at um, when they pass it to you, no, merong standard format. But of course, um, I still um, suggest, no, na kahit po magbigay tayo ng template, wag sobrang determined lahat, no, para yung students natin, meron pa rin silang space for creative expression, okay, na pwedeng, pwedeng i-design nila, i-rearrange nila in um, specific manner, no, okay, although, pwede ka magbigay ng standard format, okay, parang ganun, okay, uh, para naman, hindi naman sobrang, um, ano na, starting from scratch yung mga students mo. And they also have a way to start their websites. Kasi minsan, if they start from blank website um, or um, blank template, no, sometimes it's overwhelming for them. Okay? They don't know what to do about it. Okay? So that's your um, your um, placeholder. Okay? Of course, pwedeng pwede rin tayong mag-insert ng mga YouTube videos dito. <coughs> Ngayon, teachers, okay? when you're inserting YouTube videos, okay, wag matatakot. Wag kakabahan, okay, when it comes to copyrights infringement because it will not, like, YouTube will not sue you, okay? So even if you insert, like, so many videos, no, all the videos in YouTube here, okay, you will not be sued, okay? You will not be uh, committing uh, copyrights infringement because technically what you're doing is just linking the YouTube here and still whatever earnings uh, that video will get will still be going no to the owner of the video you're not like stealing the video okay uh, but of course teachers no 
just make sure no kasi um kahit wala siyang copyright infringement wag bug uh, if you like um create profits from your website dun ka na magkakaroon ng problema okay so just make sure you don't do that okay uh, but of course i know that our teachers do not do that okay so if you click on youtube you will now be able to um search no from a, a video or you can also search from your uh, uploaded videos no okay? um in in this um uh, in your account no but right now <coughs> i don't have uploaded videos in this account because this is uh, in my other account but if i have for example a youtube channel all my uploaded videos now could also be uh, easily uh, searched now here okay pero ngayon for example maghanap lang tayo for example ng ano yung ano natin google drive okay alam ko lalabas yung sa search eh. google drive complete walkthrough or you can uh, actually mas mabilis pa dito teachers no kung meron na kayong link ayun top of the list okay google drive complete walkthrough yung ating video no okay in fairness naman sa uh, video natin no okay top of the list okay so you can insert here okay and of course teachers yung mga videos natin are also um editable in terms of like format pwede mo siyang i-resize like that okay pwede mo siyang palakihin paliitin etc okay so it's really up to you okay you can all do that no here um, in your ano, no, in your website as well. Okay? Now, teachers, okay, let's also take note that this is an embedded part of your um, website. It means, kapag nag-insert kayo ng video dito, dito napapanoorin ng students yun. Minimizing the need for bandwidth. Kasi hindi na sila kailangan pumasok pa ng YouTube, no? Um, and mag-consume pa ng another um, uh, waves of internet or waves of data. Okay? Hindi na kailangan yun. It saves them data, teachers. Okay? So that's how you insert a I don't know, um, um, a YouTube video, okay? Our next one that we can insert also is a calendar. Okay, ayan. Okay, pero teachers, again, reminder, no, similar to your Google Drive, um, your Google Drive um, files, okay? Kailangan, pag mag-share po tayo ng calendar, the calendar is public, okay? Or within your domain. Or else, uh, p other people will not be able to see it. Okay? So, kailangan naka-public siya or naka-share by domain. Okay? So, gawin nyo lang, teachers. Pag mag-insert tayo ng calendar, click lang natin to. And pipiliin natin yung calendar na gusto nating i-share. Say, for example, share natin yung ating kaagapay teacher support calendar. <coughs> That's um, actually a public calendar. No? Okay? So, one calendar um, selected. Okay? So, we can now see no, that calendar right here. Okay? Now, teachers, you can always reformat the ano na the sizing okay? you can also reformat the view of your calendar if you go here you'll be able to see the settings okay? and you'll be able to see the view mode okay so paano mo siya gustong makita say for example pwede mong gustong bang makita by month okay so pwede siyang by month ano itsura ng monthly ganyan okay pwede ka rin for example um by week if you want it's up to you okay so, ito naman ang view ng weekly. Parang mas maganda yung monthly, no? Okay, ako talaga, bias ako sa monthly view. Okay? Yes, you can do that. Okay? Um, if your website is for international use, you might also want to, to ano na, to, um, to, um, to show, no, the time zone. Okay? Yeah, meron tayong question from the chat. I'd like to answer this already. Okay? Sir Franco, ayan. Um, okay. Pakita natin yung question. Okay. Sir Franco, is it possible to upload the video that is purified in view, uh, pure, uh, and in view, uh, that is um, in view form po. Okay, the video is, is purified. Okay, let me just clarify the question, okay? Um, pero kung uploaded video po, hindi po pwede. Okay? Ang video lang po that we can insert in our, um, I don't know, in our uh, Google site should be in your Google Drive already or in your YouTube. Okay, so hindi siya pwedeng directly uploaded into your website. Okay? Yeah. So I hope that I was able to answer your question, Teacher Angela. And I hope that that's the correct uh, question no, that I, I am answering. Okay, so just let me know no, if you have follow-up question. I'll answer that again later on. Okay? Okay, next one. Aside from a calendar, okay? Pwedeng pwede rin tayo mag-insert no, ng, um, ng different uh, elements pa ulit okay? coming from our Google Workspace account. Nandiyan din ang ating maps, okay? So, for example, kailan ito pwedeng gamitin? For example, meron kang gagamitin mo yung website mo for a program, okay? Like, kakaroon ka ng, for example, 
face-to-face at uh, training course. Okay, so you might want to put there, no, um, a map okay, where that um that uh, the, the venue no, of your um of your um um ano, the, the venue of your training course. For example, um, ang training course mo is uh, will be held in Moa. Okay, select natin. Okay, and insert natin yung map na yan. Ayun, naka-insert na kagad yung map. Okay? You can customize the teachers pero ang customizations niyan you have to do that in Google Maps. Okay? So pwedeng pwede mo no, okay? Ayan, meron akong student ngayon sa chat no. Ayun talaga mga students ko pumapasok sa aking live stream. Anyway, so that's how you insert a map into your um into your ano no, into your Google Sites, okay? So now, let's now move on to our Google Documents. Okay? So as you can see here teachers, lahat ng klase ng ating Google Documents are insertable into our Google uh, Sites. No? So you have there the docs, the slides, the sheets, the forms, or even the charts no? coming from your, uh, no, no, from, your uh, from your Google Drive. Okay? But again, reminder teachers, ano yung reminder ko kanina? Whenever you are inserting or you are inserting files from your Google Drive, like these files, they make sure that they, are, they have an open sharing. So if you plan to share it within your uh, domain, make sure it's uh, being shared within your domain. If it's being shared publicly, make sure that it's being shared publicly or else people will not see it. And you will receive, no? Okay? If you make this public, you will receive um, requests for access. Requests for access. Okay? And you don't want to receive like hundreds of requests for access because you did not make the file uh, ano, no, um, open. Okay? So say for example, mag-insert ako ng docs, okay? Let's just uh, um, show, ano, show what uh, docs would look like. Example, insert natin tong checklist for Google Certified Educators. Okay. For a while. Okay. So that's teachers, no? An example of a Google Docs inserted. Okay. So that's a dynamic, ano no, teachers, no? Uh, you can uh, expand that para makita yung buong document. Uh, you can um, ano, resize no, the entire document in your website. And again, that's viewable within your website. Okay, so the people don't need to go out no, and to, um, uh, to re be redirected to the actual document. Okay, pwede, pwede ka rin mag-insert ng slides. Say, for example, insert natin yung ating task cards dito. Okay. So you can also do that, no? Um, you can, for example, insert like documents, okay? Um, what do you call this? Um, mga presentations, okay? That your students can view, okay? Or read or review, okay? If needed, okay? So yan, pwede, pwede mo ilagay yung mga Google documents mo. Google Sheets, pwede, pwede rin Google Sheets teachers, okay? Um, if you want to share, for example, statistics, etc. Ayan, pwede, pwede na, okay? Insert natin, for example, itong, um, uh, ano no? Um, sheet from... A evaluation. Yeah. Evaluation of one of our events. Okay, so you can also insert that. Pedering forms, teachers, okay? You can also insert forms into your website. Say, for example, ayan, insert natin itong um, evaluation link ng event natin for today. So, yan. Actually, kung ganyan na mangyayari, no? Kapag meron tayong mga online courses, okay? Sa KTS, okay? Doon na kayo mag evaluate mismo sa website. No? Start from when you start the session, uh, you view the materials, okay? and then after that, evaluation link na right away. Okay? So, abangan natin yung online courses na yan ni KTS. Okay? So, you can also resize, by the way, teachers, ang ating mga Google Form para um, uh, it would like look neat and uh, nice. Okay? And again, itong Google Form teachers, no, similar, dahil naka-embed po siya, no, your viewers will actually be able to answer the Google Form right here. They don't need to go to Google Form pa, okay? Or ma-redirect pa sa Google Form. They will be able to access, actually answer it right here. Okay? So, yan po ang power ng ating Google Sites. Okay? Um, when it comes to embedding materials, okay? Last one, kung gusto mo naman mag-insert din ng uh, charts, teachers, pwede pwede rin. Pero yung charts natin, teachers, by the way, no, this should be charts that you have already created in our, uh, in your, um, Google Sheets. No? Kung nakapag-create po kayo ng mga charts using your Google Sheets, yun po yung mapipick up niya. So, for example, if I try to get that now, marirecognize lang ngayon ni, um, uh, ano, ni, ni Google Sites no? if there are um, what do you call this? Um, charts in my Google Sheets. No? So far right now, wala kasi akong Google Sheets na may, na may chart. Eh. So, I can't show that right now. Pero, 
that should now allow you to fetch no charts from your Google Sheets teachers. Pero kailangan again, meron na kayo nagawa before you insert it. Okay? So actually, that's the general rule no in Google Sites. Um, it should be that the, the materials that you'll be inserting are already created. You can't create the materials no here in Google Sites except the text. That's the only thing that you can actually create here. Okay, uh, and customize. Uh, I mean, um. Start from a uh, sketch. The rest, you'll have to create already in your Google Drive, in your uh, computers and laptops. Okay? So, teachers, nakakapagod man, but those are the different no things that you can insert in our Google Sites. Okay? So, and dami po nating options, teachers. No? Okay? You will never, um, you will have a lot of options no on what to insert into your Google Sites. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's now proceed to our number three, which is uh, on embedding interactive activities naman. So aside from that teachers, no, pwedeng pwede rin tayong mag-embed ng ating mga interactive uh, materials. Okay? Okay? Uh, mamaya po, no, let's, uh, let's talk about that later on. Okay? Uh, you can also embed no, uh, interactive activities. Say for example, okay, uh, I want to embed a, uh, for now, ang natry ko pa lang talaga, no, or na-experiment ko pa lang is embedding quizzes, okay? So if you want, for example, you can actually embed uh, a live, uh, not like live, no, but a practice mode of your quizzes, okay, in your Google Sites, okay? So to do that, no, punta tayo, for example, sa ating uh, sample website, okay? And uh, let's just go below and... Um, Check for ano, okay? Now, to insert a interactive ano, no, um, games or activities, such as, for example, quizzes, okay? You will definitely need to insert or embed a code right there, okay? So, ito ang gagamit natin, embed, uh, insert mode, no? Em, uh, inserting an embed, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my quizzes, okay? So, I'm going to go to my quizzes now, okay? So, this is my quizzes uh, account, okay? And select, just select, no? The quiz you want to insert, okay? And you, you, what you want to do, no, um, um, to insert um, an ongoing uh, quiz, okay, from quizzes, okay, is to actually preview it right there, okay. So you want to preview, okay. So click preview of that quiz, okay. So if you preview nyan, yan, okay, wala yung game code, okay, kasi nga naka preview siya, okay. And then what you're going to do is to go here sa upper left corner ng quizzes, you will see a share button. And then click or copy the um, the link, no. Once you have copied that link, okay, you will want to put that, no. That's what you will put into our website. Sorry, so the website natin, okay? Dito, okay. So click natin yung embed, okay. And then we're going to just put it here, so URL natin, okay. It will now show you this one whether you want a whole page, uh, the dynamic. Or a preview, no, na hindi dynamic. Definitely choose the dynamic because it has more like live view, no. Okay, nakikita nilang gumagalaw yung quizzes, okay, may sounds yan, etc. No, okay, so choose the whole page, teachers. Insert the whole page and viola. You have a live, okay, or a quizzes game inside your Google Sites already, which your your students can practice anytime. They can go over your content. They can go over your materials, etc., to be able to do this. Okay, that's uh, teachers inserting uh, in there. Last time I've tried Kahoot, but there's an extra step with Kahoot. No, medyo nahirapan ako mag-insert ng Kahoot. But do explore lang teachers. No, as long as you can copy the embed code or you can copy the URL of that particular um, ano no, a material. Okay, you should be able to insert that into your website. Okay, that should be doable okay that's teachers our um, embedding no of our interactive activities okay okay let's now proceed to our next one which is adding pages okay ano po itong pages teachers okay pages is a perfect way no to put like segments into your website so that your website no will have more content kasi if you think about this no if you look at our sample ang gulo gulo na teachers okay and dami ng mga materials in one page, okay? But, okay, you can actually create multiple pages so you can ano, no, compartmentalize, okay, each of the components. Say, for example, you have one page for assessments, one page for materials, one page for class uh, information, etc. If you're building a class website, okay? Uh, if you're building, for example, a training course, you have um, uh, page for module one, um, training module two, 
Moodle 3, etc. Okay? So that your users no, or your viewers okay, of your website will not be confused. Okay? So how do we add a page so that we can compartmentalize okay, our content? Okay? We go here, upper left corner, sorry, upper right corner of our website, okay? and you will see here pages. When you click that, by default, we will always have the home page. That's the first page created for you. Okay. Now, to add a page, no, you will actually be able to see here a um, a button below, okay, which uh, will allow you to insert a new page, okay, or a full page embed, okay, if you want to embed an entire page, no. Say for example, the question of teacher RS, um, um, you can actually if there's an embed code of that uh, website or the blog website that you're using, you can also embed it here, okay. Otherwise, okay. Teacher RS, no, you can easily just um, uh, link maybe your um, essays, your uh, your articles, no, using a Google Docs, okay, um, or maybe um, um, Google Slides presentation and put it here as part of your blog, okay, or your blog, okay, if you, that, if that's the case, no, okay. But what we're going to do now is to insert a new page, okay. So say for example, uh, if this is a training course, I would want to build, no, um, I would want to create um, um, a new page for. Another training course. So training course number one, for example. Okay. So this will be um, a, I don't know, a full page. Okay. So if I click that, that will open up to a another page. As you can see here, I now have two pages. I have the home page and my training course number one page. Okay. I will also see that here. You will see now that I have two tabs on top on the upper left corner of my website. Home and training course. Okay. If, for example, let me add another okay, uh, tab. Uh, sorry, no page, so that you can see the difference. If I add another page right here and says training course number two, sorry, okay, that will now create again another one. Okay. Okay. You can see now that I have training course number one, training course number two. Okay. And I will also see it here. Training course number one. Training course number two. Now, just a tip, teachers. Okay, whenever you are curating content or creating content, please make sure that you are in the right page. Because minsan nagkakahalo halo yung mga contents natin because apparently you are in the wrong page. So always check which is the highlighted uh, tab right here that you are working on. So right now I'm working on training course number two. Um, not training course number one. If I want to work on training course number one, I will just have to click on that one and I'm now on training course number one. Okay? That's your, uh, I don't know, page. So that your contents are um, are segregated, okay? And compartmentalized and organized teachers. Hindi halo-halo in one page. Nakakahilo po yung teachers, okay? Na lahat ng content nasa isang page lang, okay? So make sure that you utilize no, your different pages. But, but wait. There's more, okay? Aside from pages, teachers, okay? Aside from the ability to create pages, you can actually also create what we call sub-pages, okay? Or, I don't know, um, um, sub-pages within that particular page, okay? So what you can do here now, if you want to add a sub-page, no? Say, for example, training course number one, I want to organize it into training material, assessment material, okay? And maybe comment section, okay? So what I'm going to do, is to click on the three dots, okay? In our community, we call that chocolate chips, okay? Or, um, ano no, um, ano kasi ang tawag natin dyan, okay? Um, basta, sa akin, chocolate chips kasi ang tawag ko dyan. Ah, fishbowl, yung tawag ng iba dyan, okay? You click on that one, and you can now create a sub-page right there. Okay, by the way, you can always, ano no, um, shift. If you want to make this a home page, duplicate this page, um, check the properties, okay? Or you want to hide it from navigation, etc. Okay? So you can now, for example, what I'm talking about kanina, you nag add ng sub page. You can add a sub page here. And what's going to happen, say, for example, uh, training materials. Okay? Now, once you do that, teachers, okay? Ayun, nakita mo. Meron akong nasa ilalim ng training course number one ko, training materials. I'm going to add one more so that you get to see the difference. Okay? Training materials, okay? Um, training assessments. Okay. Now, what's going to happen is that look at this, teachers. Your one of you, the page na that you create a sub page, meron na siyang drop down menu. Okay. So from training course number one, 
pwede akong may sariling page for training materials. So, nandyan lang ang lahat ng training materials ng course number one. Okay. So, you can fully customize, no? And fully organize, no? Your, your content, your materials, no? In this uh, platform, okay? So, that's, again, creating a sub-page. Okay? So, teachers, um, that should help you, no? Um, in um, further, okay? Customizing your uh, your websites, no. It allows you to to be more organized, no, and to be more customized when it comes to your content. Okay, so that should be very useful. Okay, next one, okay, is on customizing design. Okay, so paano naman po tayo nagco-customize ng design, okay, in our Google sites. Okay, so let me just go back to that um, training portal once again. Unang una teachers, wag natin kakalimutan, okay, that the first way to customize our uh, ano no our um our website is that to already make use of the different themes available for us. If you click on this one, may makikita po kayo dito. Uh, different um, templates. Meron kang simple, Aristotle, for example. Pili natin sa Aristotle, ano mangyayari? Ayun, ang itsura ng Aristotle. Okay? Parang ang ganda ni Aristotle, no? Very, um, very, ano, uh, very formal. Okay? Very professional looking. Okay? Uh, and again, you're doing this, no? We just a click. We just one click and your entire team is actually already changing, okay? Let me just use, for example, Aristotle. Yeah, right there, okay? So you can already have uh, a more customized no, um, view or um, theme, a theme for your website no, without like, um, like sweating so much, okay? So that's one way of customization, okay? Another way of customizing no, um, your website, okay, is through the use of what we call banners or headers, okay? So, pwede po tayo magpalit ng mga banners and headers. And this is the recommended size and resolution. Okay? That's 2,560 by 1,440 resolution. Bakit yan po ang ating resolution? So that regardless kung saan man ibu-view or um, where your website will be viewed, no? in, in computers, in laptops, in tablets, or in cell phones, your website will look crisp. Uh, and um, sharp no yung mga images nyo okay wag po kayong maglalagay teachers ng mga low resolution images because it's going to affect uh, the quality of your website okay so teachers okay you can always no uh, make use of the canva okay um, google classroom banner almost the same uh, ano no almost the same um what they call it almost the same size quality and size no ng ating mga banners natin okay but of course if you can make it bigger you can also do that okay um baka kasi hindi sobrang laki sa ano no sa resolution natin okay and i always do not like recommend okay? kasi medyo mahirap mag-spot ng gitna ng mga banners natin if you're putting a text okay so i would really suggest that if you're putting a text on your website okay do not put that in your banner okay let it be on your um on no uh, on your um on your um a page already so for example you have a separate text no so the text is not on the banner okay so say for example i'm going to download this banner you know, and use this okay i'm just going to get that from canva okay and i'm going to increase okay let's um make it 2800 by 720 and i'm going to download that now okay and i should be able to see that okay and then what I'm going to do is I can double click no on this. Oh, sorry. Um, I can go here to customize my image. Okay? So I can change my image by uploading. And I can fetch the up the um, image that I just uploaded. Okay? And it's right there, teachers. Okay. Customize already. Okay. Now, teachers, some, some might be asking, parang ang labo po niya. Kasi nagkakaroon ng automatic I don't know, uh, ad, um, adjustment yung um, image. No? Pwede niyo pong tanggalin ito, itong uh, readability adjustment, no para it will retain the same color. Okay, okay. Bright pa rin siya. Okay? Yes, okay. So, teachers, no ang, again, if you're going to explore this, no you will see how easy it is to use this. No? Okay, so that's one way of customizing your Page. Of course, teachers, kahit ang ating mga uh, text no, sa ating uh, banner okay, are highly customizable. No? Say, for example, if I want to change this, okay, I can do so. Let's make it a caveat. Okay? Increase its size to, um, to 60. Okay, that should make it. Okay? Uh, that's now an even more amazing page. Okay? So, teachers, no, 
and again, if you're looking at it, no, I'm doing all of this customization no, with not so much um, problems. Okay? And of course, no, in just a matter of like few clicks no, away from uh, Google Sites. Okay? So that's teachers, no, um, uh, yet another weight of customization. Okay? By the way, uh, pwede nyo rin palang baguhin no, no, yung ating tinatawag na um, view mode. Okay, sorry, header type pala, header type dito. Kung ano yung gusto mo makita ng mga audience mo, pwede siyang large banner like that, okay? Or pwede siyang uh, banner type, okay? Pwede siyang cover ng entire um, page, okay? If you really want to uh, do it that way, okay? Or pwede siyang title only kung wala kang banner, okay? Pero I always like uh, use banner type, uh, sorry, large banner or banner type, okay? So you can adjust it here, okay? Um, so that's for customization of your banner, okay? Now, here's teachers a... A little bit of uh, ano no um, 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 extra for all of you no this one I did not discuss in uh, in uh, in our uh, previous session no in our um, um, uh, Google Sites complete walkthrough before okay? and like I want to explore this with you okay because um, uh, this would definitely add a different kind of level of professionalism no and professional looking into your website okay so why not okay let's insert a professional looking comment section in your Google site. So yes, teachers, you can do that. Okay? At hindi po siya ganon kahirap. No? May konting embedding na magaganap teachers, pero um, I will be uh, ano, no, um, slowing down my pace no? and I will try to slow down a little bit okay? so that you can catch up no, on, on uh, the steps no? on how to do it. Okay? The first one, okay, the first step no, that you want uh, to do this no, is to sign up to www.discuss.com okay? That's a Website that allows you to create comment sections that uh, can be embedded into your websites. Okay? So ngayon, once you are in, may makikita na kayo ngayon dito, no? Okay? Um, once you are uh, into your, um, into your um, 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 discuss account, okay? So kailangan nakapag-create na po kayo. Ngayon po, nakapag-create na ako. Nakasign in na po ako. You can see now my, my profile right there. And you, will, you should now be able to start. Okay, so get started, okay? So I should now get started. I want uh, comments on my website. Okay, so yun po yung pipiliin ko. Okay. And once you go, uh, once you have that teachers, no, okay, you will now um, get to have, okay, your websites, no. Punta lang po ako sa aking mga websites, okay. So, kapag nag-start na po kayo ng account nyo, no, um, for you to be able to create a comment section for your website, okay, you have to create a website in your in discuss but technically teachers hindi talaga siya website no okay it's just a um ano a site no or a comment site no which you will link into your website okay so hindi ka talaga magki-create ng website per se okay so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to create a website right here okay by creating new okay i click ko lang yung new no okay and then pwede ko siyang lagyan ng pangalan okay I'm just going to put here as KTS uh, Training Portal. You can actually get, create um, different names. This one, hindi lahat ng category are present. So, piliin na lang po kayo ng um, uh, any that's closest to the, how the website will be used. Hindi naman talaga siya determinant teachers. And then, create site. Okay? Once created teachers, tatanungin kayo, uh, gusto nyo bang mag... Uh, purchase? No, siyempre, hindi po. We will uh, make use of the basic, which is free. Doon tayo sa, sa free, sa libre tayo. Okay? Subscribe now. Okay? And once that's done, teachers, you will be asked no, in which website you will want to put it. Dahil wala po dito, we'll be using Google Sites. Wala siya dito, teachers. So what we're going to do is to choose on a universal code. Okay? So when you click on the universal code, teachers, you will now be able to copy this, uh, ano no, um, okay, sorry. This entire um, embed link, okay? So, yan po ikakopy natin. No? So, nasa number one po siya, okay? So, when you uh, see this, lagi, uh, punta lang kayo sa upper right corner, copy. Okay, kakopy lang natin. Once copied, pupunta tayo ngayon dun sa ating training portal, okay? And we're going to locate, no? Kung saan niyo po siya gustong ilagay, okay? For the meantime, for this demonstration, I'm just going to put it here, okay? Sa ating training course number one, okay? And I'm going to double tap on that one. And then I'm going to click on embed. Okay, I'm going to choose embed code and paste the code that I just copied from Discuss website. Okay, ganun lang po siya kadalit. But 
Wait, teachers, okay? You still have to do something here, okay? What you want to do now is to remove certain things, okay? May mga tatanggalin po tayo so that the, 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 the comment section is scroll, scrollable, okay? So you can, what you can do here, what you will need to do here is to remove this asterisk and slash. Ito, may makita po kayo itong asterisk and slash. Let me just um, 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 zoom into that more, okay? So meron kayo makita ang slash and asterisk there. Remove nyo lang po yan, okay? So that's the first thing that you have to remove, okay? Now, scroll up more dun sa taas, okay? May makikita tayong um, slash double asterisk, okay? Up to another slash asterisk. Tatanggalin din po natin yon, okay? So we will also remove that, okay? We will keep, and everything else are okay to be kept, okay? So once that's done, teachers, okay? Click next. It will now show you a, um, a preview of your um, um, comment section. Once done, click insert. And you have a professional looking comment section right there in your website. Okay? So, hindi na, ano, no? Uh, talagang elevated na yung mga websites natin. Hindi na siya, uh, ano lang, no? Yung mga common websites. Meron tayong uh, professional looking comment sections. That will now add up, teachers, no? To customization of your websites. Okay? So, I hope, teachers, no? Na-catch natin yung mga steps, no? Okay? Kung paano siya gawin at paano siya ilagay sa ating, um, ano, no? Um, Google Sites. Okay? Now, let's proceed now to our next one. Okay? Yeah. On sharing our Google site naman, okay? So what if we're done, tapos na tayo, nalagay natin lahat ng content natin, we have customized our website, no? But we want to work with someone else, okay? What if we have, for example, a co-teacher, for example, that we want to work with, okay? Um, can we do that? Yes, you can do that, okay? And to do that, teachers, no? Ang gagawin lang natin to share um, a, ano, no, um, a file, okay? Or, um, or to, to collaborate no, with someone in Google Sites, okay? is to go here, upper right corner, you will see a button, okay, with um, uh, that person with the plus sign, okay? That's actually your um, share uh, button, okay? This is basically as if you're sharing a file, okay? So that's a common and normal sharing of file, okay? You just have to type in the name of the person here, or, I'm um, sorry, yeah, ano ko lang, no, i- um, i-zoom uh, out ko lang para mas makita natin, okay? So, yan, teachers, no? So, pwede po natin siyang i-share no to a person, okay? So, you can invite a person as an editor, um, a viewer, no, etc. in your website, okay? And um, that will allow you to collaborate with someone. So, there, you don't no, always need to work alone, okay? You can always collaborate with someone else, okay? And here's one more, teachers, okay? Whenever you are sharing your links, no, okay? You can actually go here and try to restrict. If you want the drop to be just restricted to the people you shared it with and yourself, you can make it restricted. Or if you want the draft to be um, edited or accessible within your domain or anyone with the link, you can also do that. Okay? Even the published link teachers, no? Kasi may mga nagtatanong sa akin before, Sir Franco, can we limit our website to just our students in our school? Yes, you can. Okay? And it, it's here, no? Where you can do that. Okay? Where you can Limit, for example, to restrict um, the the share the published uh, link, okay? or you can share it within your domain. Nakalagay po sa akin dito is save your school. It's because that's my domain. Okay? Uh, for others, your domain should be uh, your DepEd domain, your DepEd QC domain, etc. Okay? If you're using a Google Workspace account, you can also uh, make it public if you want. Okay? So that's where if you want everyone or anyone to be able to access your website, it you have to make it public. Okay? So it's here where you can fully customize no the access and um, the sharing of your website. Okay? Mas pinadali na ngayon ni ano no, ni um, ni Google, okay, yung pag-share natin. Okay? Once you're done sharing your website, click done nyo lang. Okay? That's it already. Tapos na, na-share na natin yung website natin. Those people invited in your website should be able to see it. Okay? Now, let's go to our last one which is on Publishing a Google site, okay? Of course, okay, for people to see your website, you have to publish it first, okay? But before you publish a website, teachers, something or a recommendation that I want to, I don't know, give to our teachers, to our users, is that before even publishing it, teachers, make sure to preview your website, 
Okay? See it first that it works. See it first that it looks good. See it first that things are in place because you might have missed something. There might be something that's not working, etc. Okay? So you might want to go here and to click on preview, okay? And that will now open a preview mode, okay? So this is what and how it looks like you now for your viewers, okay? And they would see if the links are working, etc. okay? You can also even go here, lower right corner of the preview to see it, how it looks like in a phone. This is what it looks like in a phone, okay? So nagbabago din siya, no? We can also see it, okay? So you would also see, you no, know, if your design, if your text, if your um if your contents no are also um seen well and clear in different devices if i want for example what if my students are using tablet this is what it how it looks like in a tablet okay so that will minimize the errors okay minimize uh ano, the problems in your website no as soon as you publish it okay now once you're done everything's clear everything looks good okay and we are ready to um to publish no okay the next one is to um okay to click on here upper right corner publish button that's it okay when you click that okay when you click the publish button that will now prompt no the the creation of your web address okay of course teachers no yung back end po ng ating um, website okay will have the domain name, okay? So if you create this using your DepEd accounts, it will contain the deped.gov.ph domain before your customized URL, okay? So, and of course, the URL name will always depend on availability, okay? So if it's uh, available, you're gonna get it. If it's not, then you'll have to change it, okay? And once you're done with the name of your web address, okay, you're okay with it, okay? Then go ahead and publish it. So I'm now publishing this particular website. And every time you need to share this website, what you need to do is to go here, upper right corner, okay? You will have here the button copy publish site link, okay? Okay, and that's what you share, okay? And by the way, teachers, please take notice that every page has their own publish site link. If I go, for example, to my home, that will be, ang publish site link niyan will end up with a home right there. So it's, um, uh, uh, I don't know, KTS training portal slash home, okay? If I go, for example, to my training course number one, and if I copy the publish site link for that, it will contain KTS training portal slash training course number one, okay? And the, actually, there's a use for this, no? If, for example, you want your students or your viewers to be redirected to a particular page already, you don't want to, to see home page uh, anymore, you can redirect them directly into that page. Okay? Para yun na kagad ang makikita nila. Hindi nila kailangan mag-navigate, hindi nila kailangan tumingin pa dun sa inyong um, ano, no, uh, buttons. Okay? Yan. Okay? So that's, teachers, okay? um, our ano, no, um, publication of... Um, our website okay but before we uh i don't know we open the floor for uh, questions okay and before we end our session for today okay uh it may pahabo lang konti no meron pa tayong mga ibang settings dito if you go here um sa ating um, upper right corner now you will see settings okay there are actually some settings that you might uh, also want to explore okay the first uh, setting that you can customize also for your google site is your navigation. So, pwede kang, yung navigation mo could be on top, okay, or it could be on the side, okay? What happens if it's on the side? It goes here. Makikita niyo po, no? Magkakaroon ako ng hamburger icon dun sa, um, sorry, hamburger icon sa upper left corner ko. Nandun na ngayon yung pages ko. Okay? So, you can also put your pages on the top, mo, uh, um, right, uh, left side, no? Left side ng inyong um, website, okay? Let me just go back again to um, our settings, okay? You can also um, do like um, uh, your colors, okay? Pero ngayon dahil may headers naman tayo, um, hindi na rin nag-work yung colors kasi meron tayong ginagamit na color scheme, okay? You can also do brand images, okay? Kanina nagpalit tayo ng logo. Yes, you can do that, okay? Meron ka rin dito ang tinatawag na fab icon. Ito naman yung icon that appears next beside your URL, okay? So if you want to also put an icon no? uh, whenever um, uh, your URL appears on the 
on the box or address bar, you can also put a fab icon. Okay. You can also do viewer tools. Okay. Um, like um how your uh, your I don't know your uh, your page is being viewed. Okay. And even analytics. No, although analytics of um our um, Google sites no can only be done using um yun tiyatawag natin Google Analytics app ni Google. Okay. And of course, ito very useful po sa mga uh, user uh, natin no mga users natin baka gusto nyo ring maglagay ng tinatawag nating announcement banner okay ito pong announcement banner is if you want to uh, ano, announce something on top of your pages every time say for example um, maglagay ako dito ng please subscribe okay yan okay and then i'm going to put um sorry okay um na rin pala yung message ko okay same lang okay and then lang dito Ah, uh, yung link ko for example, lalagay ko syempre, okay? So yung uh, yung yung banner natin na yan, actually, okay? Is a, a clickable banner, no? Okay? So the, that announcement banner is a clickable banner. Okay? So we can put a link here for example. I'm just going to link my um my um um, um YouTube channel, okay? And okay? That's uh you can also choose no if that appears on the home page only or all pages. Right now, let's put it in all pages, okay? So what happens now is it appears right here doon sa taas ng banner nyo. Ayun. Please subscribe. Okay? Hindi ko na pala kailangan yung message ko. No? Okay? I can uh, edit that. Okay? Tanggalin natin yung message. Okay? Para button na lang yung lalabas. Okay? Yun. Okay? Yan. Okay. Go here. And when people click on that one, that brings them to the um, our um, YouTube channel. Which, by the way, no, please subscribe na po tayo. No? We're already at 98.8 um, subscribers. No? 1.2 uh, thousand na lang. 100k subscribers na po tayo. Anyway, so that teachers no, ends our exploration of Google Sites. No? For today, we were able to um, introduce you to Google Sites. Okay? We were also able to um, to explore no, different Google Sites applications. Okay? And as well as building a website through Google Sites. No? I've shown all the functions, functionalities, etc. of Google Sites no? here today para po mas makilala natin at mas magamit po natin. Ad adding to that, no, certain advanced um, capabilities of our Google Sites as well. Okay? So now, teachers, okay? we can proceed with our open forum before we have our evaluation form. Okay? Kanina may mga question on, nako, uh, teacher RS, okay? I think this is an a little bit advanced um, uh, for me, no? May question kasi from teacher RS, okay? Um, are there any SEO tools that Google Sites use or can be integrated with, okay? So far, um, no other tools no, can be integrated with here, okay? Um, all the tools are what we have explored so far. Okay, that's uh, the limitation maybe, no? Okay? Um, and maybe the, the reason to that is that it uh, Google no, wants to keep Google Sites as a simple, easy-to-use um, 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 website builder, okay? So it removes no, yung, uh, yung those functionalities no, um, uh, available, okay? So unfortunately, no, teacher RS, okay? This one, uh, are there subheadings that blog or is it announcements? Okay, I'm curious to know because writing blog posts is an important part of my business. Um... For the sub the subheadings, you can put that in the message, but so far uh, it has a character limitation. Okay, so in the um, uh, in the banners, no, you can only um, use it okay, um, to announce no short messages, no, and that uh, redirect them. Okay, oh, okay, so you are you are you are you are into business, no, definitely could be used. Okay, but um um I don't know if it's uh, you're a male or female, but um. Uh, sir or ma'am RS, no. Um, um, I think when it comes to business, if you really want to re go full scale, this could definitely be something that you can use. Definitely, I will recommend it. No Google Sites, okay. But for a more advanced features, more advanced um, functionalities to uh, to deliver or to um, to assist, no, on um, on your um, uh, business, okay. Uh, you can also I don't know use more advanced website builders. But if it's like um, for simple like. Um, um, information about your business, okay, uh, etc. Definitely, Google Sites could also deliver, okay. But there are some limitations, no, as to what extent Google Sites can assist you in um, upscaling, maybe, or um, um, promoting, no, your business. Okay. Thank you so much um, for that question, okay. Teachers, how about our teachers, okay? Are there questions, okay, uh, or anything that you might want to ask, okay, about uh, what we have explored so far today, okay? 
Or is it very clear? Or baka tinulugan niyo po ako, teachers? Okay. <laughs> it's either two, two things na talagang intently nakinig at uh, uh, malinaw naman, okay? or baka na nakatulugan si Sir Franco. Okay? Anything else, okay? uh, teachers? No, You might have questions. Okay? Mukhang wala so far. I don't see any chat uh, so far. Now, teachers, uh, please do uh, be reminded no, that this is our last session for our July series. Okay? We will be proceeding no, uh, with our August series. No? We have um, also uh, been um, uh, preparing okay? uh, for our August series as well. Okay? And of course, as I reminded everyone earlier, you will also be getting a certificate after the session. After? Answering our evaluation form. Okay, this one, a question from Teacher Dean Clifford. Paano po pag may need update ang content? So, yan, good question, Teacher um, uh, Teacher Dino. Okay, show ko yan. Okay, um, okay pakita lang natin how to do that. Okay, so for example, nag-edit ako. Okay, meron akong bagong nilagay. Okay, this one, nakapublish na yung aking website, no? But suddenly, I decided to put a, um, uh, ano dito, no? Kunyari, nag-add ako ng Google Drive folder. Okay? So, maglagay lang ako, for example, ng Google Drive folder here. Now, every time you add a content, okay, in your website, you have to republish that. Okay? So, that's the question. Ayun, medyo nakakalito po, no? According to Teacher Naisita rin yan. Teacher Naisita, mamaya po, no? You can always replay, no, this video. Okay? Don't worry. Okay? Now, teachers, okay, um, if you want, if you are um, adding a new content, no, you have edited parts of your content, you have to republish that. So, for example, right now, I added a new content. So, what I'm going to do is to click again, publish, okay, to publish the edited version, okay? So, when you click publish, okay, that will now go here and it will ask you um, the draft, no, what the draft looks like and what your currently published uh, one looks like, no? So, you will see comparison, okay? So Google site will ask you if you really want to publish this no this new draft no so say for example you're okay to pub um, uh, about this new edit or um, new content lagay nyo lang po or click nyo lang ulit publish okay so when you publish that the new content has been published no teacher din okay ayan okay now teacher meron nako meron isang comment no pag minsan dito ako heart heartbroken no kapag hindi masyadong malinaw yung aking pagka-deliver but anyway teacher nice uh, ni Sita no uh, Rinyen Kim I um I apologize no if it's a little bit um uh, confusing kung nakakalito po no but don't forget no that this video is always replayable review reviewable no you can always replay replay this over and over again and, uh, until you get all the parts. So you can pause and play, pause and play, um, and uh, just pick on certain aspect of the, um, the, the content, no? Um, so that you will be able to uh, understand no, some other parts that are not very clear. Okay? So, but I apologize no, if the pacing is a little bit fast, no, if there are contents that are not as clear as today. Okay? Thank you so much for that feedback, teacher um, uh, Nisita. Yeah. Okay? Other questions po so far? Okay, ayan, nagpapasalamat na po. Pinapaalis na ako ng mga teachers natin. Okay, nagpapasalamat na. Um, again, uh, welcome po. No? Maraming maraming salamat din po for uh, staying with us okay? and for being with us no, for today's session. No? At um, as always, I always thank you no, uh, for um, for choosing no, to... Um, to um to stay with us no and to to be with us no every learning session okay but if ever teachers no mayroong questions problem um um for those that are things that are not clear teachers wag niyo po kakalimutan you can always contact me no um here at uh, facebook.com kaagapay teacher support okay you can also visit our website at the um, https colon slash slash uh, sites uh, dot google dot com slash xs dot edu dot ph slash kaagapay slash home, okay? Or you can email me at francopadun at exes.edu.ph, okay? Or you can also add our calendar for, for all trainings, okay? And, of course, please subscribe, no, to our uh, um, YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash franconicoloadun. Okay, maraming maraming salamat po. Welcome po, Teacher Connie, no, at I hope na meron tayong konti, kahit konting update lang for today, okay? So, teachers, that actually ends our session for today. Okay, kung wala na po tayong mga questions, katanungan, okay, ayan, medyo nakaka, medyo mabilis lang po talaga, no? okay? Yan, pwede siyang slow down, okay? Um, siguro nadala lang ako ng excitement ko kasi talagang favorite tool kasi, no? nadala ng excitement, okay? Now, teachers, okay, um, 
let's now uh, we'll be ending our session for today with uh, of course now our evaluation link okay so for those um, who are here and um, are still live no okay you can get a certificate no after the session not after the session but in few days okay after answering our evaluation link okay so let's uh, now uh, evaluate the session at https colon tinyurl.com slash July series 2022 part 04. Yan. Maraming maraming salamat po ala teachers. Uh, just like always, please do let me know if the link is working or if you can see the, uh, ano no, um, the evaluation form okay? before I log out po. Yan. Welcome po teachers. Maraming salamat po. Yan. Yan, Teacher Sheila, pasensya na po kung medyo mabilis ang ating delivery for today, okay? Ayan, Teacher Sheila, pasenyo, okay? Kumisan talaga, ano, uh, yun na po, mabilis talaga ako, teachers, okay? <laughs> medyo buwabalik na naman yung uh, fast pacing ko na, ano, na delivery. Anyway, yan, maraming salamat, teachers, okay? Uh, please don't forget, no, that we have a session on Thursday to begin our, um, um, our, um, uh, August series, uh, August um, um, learning sessions, okay? Uh, by the way, teachers, now, yung aming August Thursdays, okay, will all be dedicated for um, requests from teachers, okay? At ang unang request ng mga teachers natin is to learn about the automate, uh, automating of documents using Autocrat, okay? So I will um, be demonstrating to all of you on uh, Thursday how to use the Autocrat and how to automate certificates, letters, or reports. Yan, maraming salamat po, no? Okay? I will also be posting, by the way, teachers, the link onto our um, um, chat right now uh, for those who might be har have having a har hard time uh, accessing the link no, or typing the link um, into their browsers, okay? Let me just uh, copy that, teachers, okay? Okay. So, teachers, evaluation link also posted in our chat. Once again, maraming maraming salamat po, ano, and thank you every time you join our sessions, okay? Uh, please stay safe and stay negative from COVID-19, but still, uh, please stay positive in life. Maraming salamat po, teachers, and have a great day po. Yeah.